Hey, sup everybody. Uh, we're here for the amazing Poor Dora recording of our podcast. Take which... like 50. <laughs> Don't tell them that. <laughs> Anyways, so, Cole, flip a coin. Yeah, I got you. Guys, heads, taiga, tails, kushieda. You guys ready for this? Oh, that's Kushieda, fucking <laughs> bastard. Guys, first time we did this, first take, uh, it's heads. We were very happy. Now this is set a mood for the rest of the podcast. Now I have to cry at least we're, once. We're going to be really depressed. <laughs> going to be really sad because Kushieda got the tail. We didn't get the we didn't get the good girl. Now we, we didn't get the cry. good girl. Now we're it's game over. <laughs> so remind you of something? Yeah, Ryuji. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. In my opinion, she got he got. Mm, I don't know. If he got know. number two in my opinion. And she got he got number one in my opinion. Actually. You're on crack. Actually, you are on crack. Simply no. <laughs> and I would rather you not say such slander. <laughs> but this episode's very big, guys. It's big for us because we finally figured out a name for the podcast. You gonna fuck it up this time? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know that. Once again, I think they do. We're Anyways, getting behind guys. the scenes. So, uh, Cole, come on, man. Can't believe you. Can't believe you. <laughs> just say, just say. You okay. got, it. you got it in the bag. Welcome to of anime and weebs, the podcast. Whoa, we did it. All right. Cue the drum roll. Not drum. Wait, wrong one. Cue the applause. Yeah, drum roll. Oh fuck, we're super. <laughs> Yeah, drum rolls before the action. Drum rolls before. Oh, Anyways, let's get into let's get into Toradora. Enough about us. <laughs> Enough about our our terrible. very terrible ideas. And, yes. Okay. Episode one. Tiger and Dragon. What a great name too. Pretty good name. I like that. I mean, I they're both their names I mean Tiger and Dragon, right? Or at least does sound? Ryuji does Ryuji translate to something? Hold up. Or Takasu. I'm not sure. One of them probably translates to dragon, I'd assume. We should have done that. We should have done a little research. Like I am doing that, right? I'm just I am not connected to the internet. Cole, <laughs> have I already told you that you're a genius? I take it all back. <laughs> anyways, anyways, doesn't matter. Right off the bat, we see, like, the different personality between Taiga and Ryuji. Like, immediately yeah, off the bat. Yeah, no, absolutely. We get to see the how... slobbiest motherfucker this entire show mm -hmm. and a dude that's cleaning mold. Out of random public bathrooms. Because yeah. he wants to. Absolutely. Like, mm, what a great way to start off the show. True. Very good. Like, cause that, that's, that's the basis of this show, is that it's two people, two different personalities working with each other. God, get the car. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't even start off with him talking. We start off with his mother. We, we do. With his mother. Yes. Like, which, I mean... Which is very odd, because you're like, who is this woman? What is going on? Why right? is he cooking for this Why woman is he that cooking is for this 20 woman? years his elder? Yes, and also <laughs> is very touchy. Yeah. Very touchy. So whenever my I first saw this, I was actually... Think she ended up with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't leave that in, son of a bitch. <laughs> you can leave that in. Can so I? Yeah, can yeah, I, yeah, Connor? Yeah, really? Literally, yes. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to say something else and I stopped myself. I was going to say something about something. Anyways, what's up, guys? So... What I wanted to say for Cole rudely cut me off like an <laughs> asshole is, you guys thought about this, right? Or, uh, no. That wasn't what I was going to say at all. I watched the first episode with my mother, actually. Hell yeah. Very odd. Very weird, I know. But I watched actually a few with my mother, uh, the first episodes, and she looked at me and was like, who is this woman? And I looked at her dead in the eyes and I said, oh, that's his, that's his mom. And she was like, What? She looks like nothing yeah, like him. Yeah, she's an exotic dancer. <laughs> she's an exotic dancer. And I was like, which I don't know if she is. I think she is. I think is she, I'm pretty sure she's a stripper. Uh, Cole, she's what a stage the fuck? name. I think you mean exotic <laughs> dancer. No, I don't. Anyways, I don't. I don't know if she is, or if she just goes to like a coffee shop or whatever shop that is like bar, and then just, uh, yeah, like, a coffee shop that sells fucking beer. <laughs> 
Listen, <laughs> when clearly you've ever, never been to watch, a coffee shop. Watch, honestly. now that I say that, there's definitely going to be coffee shops and people are going to be like, oh, there's this co- one coffee shop in fucking Vietnam yeah, or some shit. Yeah, all two viewers. All two viewers are going to say, hey, all two my viewers, favorite AKA coffee AKA shop. both of us. Both of us and our mothers, <laughs> maybe. My mother, no, you're not my, yours. My, my mother will not watch this. No, absolutely not. I my abs- mother may turn it off because I cuss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyways, back to the first episode. So it starts off where you get the introduction of the characters. You get introduced to Kinomura. You get introduced even before that. We figure out like that, how people see Ryuji because true. the two kids bump into him and then give them his wallet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what the hell? Yeah, like, at least wait for him to threaten you. Like, yeah, and then you get more in depth on Ryuji because it's it's Ryuji and he goes and he hands in the wallets and he says, yeah. "Oh, these are lost." And it's like. Weird. And you can tell it happens a lot because yeah. the guy's like, oh, found more missing wallets? It's like... Is that not a red flag? He's like, oh, you find a lot of missing wallets. Does look, no one look into that? Well, I mean, <laughs> what are you going to look into? People literally just hand him their wallets. I don't know. Ask around. Why the fuck does Ryuji bring us so many wallets? Well, Someone's, uh, someone eventually is going to be, oh, I don't know. I bumped into him. I got scared. I give him my wallet. Yeah. And then but you know the you, problem. Why don't you go about that? And how do you fix a problem like that? Tell everybody, oh, don't worry, he's a big cuddly bear. And then they look him in dead in the eyes, and he, he looks like he's gonna. <laughs> Connor, Connor, murder I, them. Connor, I, Connor, Wait, you can't say hold that. Hold on, hold on, Connor, Cole, Connor, Cole, Cole, Cole. I'm gonna cut this. Check this out. No, 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 dead no, no, in the eyes. No, 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 no. I'm not cutting this out. I'm just censoring it. You're not saying what you're about to say. We continue. <laughs> so he looks him dead in the eyes, and he says. What are you gonna do? Murder me? <laughs> Was that the delivery? <laughs> God, what the fuck are you talking about? This one's bad. Move it on, move it on, All move right. it on, move it on. Moving on, moving on. So, <laughs> Ryuji, we get to see a little bit more about him very nicely uh, by him meeting Kushieda. Kushieda and Kitamura. And Kitamura. Both their introductions. Both are their awesome. introductions. Very nice. You, that's when we almost have the full ensemble cast. True. And then we're just missing the bitch, so we can wait a bit. We're missing two characters, cool. Who's the other one? Are you kidding me? <laughs> who the fuck else are you talking about? Dumb Chi. That's who Amy is. <laughs> no, we're missing Taiga still. Then no, she hasn't been introduced. We've yet. met her. No, no, no. You get introduced to both Kitamura and the other one because he has to. Bump yeah, but we into... meet her at the beginning of the episode. Yeah, you sure. already see who she is. Yeah. You know who she is. She's the slob rich chick. We all know that. That's what. That's who she is. Understandable, but also, are we talking? They about... haven't bumped into each other yet. Okay, well, basically they did because the next like next right second, after, right yeah. after this, he bumps into Taiga and Taiga fucking drops him. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I mean, absolutely. He looks her like dead in her on the top of her head and says, <laughs> like. Hum top taiga. Oh, I get it. And then boom, gone. <laughs> Which is a fucking hilarious scene. Absolutely. Oh, hilarious. I understand. Dropped. <laughs> Absolutely, just gone. Oh, I thought that was funny. Oh, man. Um, but it was it was like a couple scenes later where she just trashes the classroom for yep. no reason. No reason. And then hides in a locker. Yep. I understand the hiding in the locker part, but why'd you trash everything? Do you not know why <laughs> she did that? There was no reason for that. It was just weird, too, because she was going to drop off her, like, love letter. Yeah. Which is really, really odd, because you're like, oh, maybe she, maybe Kutamura, like, walked in the class or something, and then she got spooked, hit in the locker, smashed a bunch of stuff, hit back into the locker, and then rolls out of it. What? <laughs> also, I like how she smashes everything. Gets into the locker and then knocks over the locker from the inside. I'm like, what in How God strong you... is this girl? Insanely. Because first of all, she floors like a six foot three, yeah, you know, God. 18 year old man. 17. So, oh, sorry. Nice try. Sorry. Nice try. And she's like, what? She's not of age Fucking 4'10? Like, top? She just, she floors him and is able to knock over this big ass metal locker. Yes. She's strong as hell. Dude, she. Basically picks up desks and throws them like what? twenty feet. Like <laughs> what? What the hell? She's not. Oh my god! That's cool. Best character. Anyway. Oh, actually, I don't know. that's that's debatable. My boy I don't Ryuji, know. I like him a lot. I like Ryuji a you're lot. You're not gonna like my answer to that, so I'll save of course, it for a bit. Of course, you're gonna say like actually, Kinemur is really good. Kinemur is. There's a 
most of the characters in this are they, really good. I say it's they're not the best. I say story. they're not the best characters. They're still really good mm-hmm. characters. They are like really, really well done, and they all work so good within like with, with each other. Mm-hmm. To make you can make so many situations with the personalities they have, and that's the brilliance of this show. Yes, is that the main five characters just contradict each other and it works well i mean like kitamura and uh i mean kitamura and takasu yeah yeah whatever fuck. what i was gonna say kitamura and uh kushida they seem to like, the they get along yeah okay well fine but like kitamura gets along with like everybody that's understandable kitamura is awesome. but like kitamura gets along with everybody and like taiga gets along with like nobody except for like kushida and ryuji she has very little friends so th- there's those two personalities contradicting each other. We have Re- nice guy Ryuji and Amy j- just being an asshole all around. Still love her, though. Oh, <laughs> what an angel. Hear me out. Hear me out. I don't care I like her. if she is so toxic that I spend every night for the rest of my life lying in bed listening to that one fucking, like, slowed rever- reverbed version of Everlong by the fucking Foo Fighters crying myself to sleep while that one f- gif from Evangelion plays if it means Amy is in my life I love her as a character so much some low standards <laughs> some really really Dude, she's sad such, thoughts she is such an interesting character she adds so much to we just fucking skip like five episodes I just realized <laughs> she only comes. We in started like, talking about characters. She comes in on like episode what five? Yes, <laughs> yes she does. Cole. Okay, but anyways, she is one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite. All right, because she adds so much to this story. Now back to episode back one. Back to episode one. God damn it! We can Holy shit, Cole. We can't keep a fucking like straight storyline. It's like you kill, can't keep a straight story. Well, let's, look at, let's, let's look at the kill, a kill episode. We started, we were on like, what, episode 7? And then you're like, oh yes, in episode 23. <laughs> 23, Connor! I simply do not remember what you were <laughs> speaking of, <you> heathen. <laughs> I need a drop, son. Better okay, speaking of dropped, Tiger just breaks into Ryuji's house. Yep. And just kicks the ever-living shit out of him with Boken mm-hmm. Sword. Well, actually, I'd say he's going pretty even, considering he has his bare hands. To be fair, she does. Really he does defend murdered? himself pretty well, mind you. Boken swords don't really kill; they just hurt a fucking lot. Yeah, I've taken fair. one to the head, and it exactly. hurts a lot. <laughs> As Taiga said, it's not going to kill you. She's just going to hit you until you don't remember anything anymore. Which is, you know, threatening assault. So after breaking and entering, and. How is she not arrested? She's like, oh, I got bad behavior, so I couldn't go to their high school. How is she not in juvie? She Ooh. assaults people on a regular basis. And? <laughs> and? No one fucking calls the police. You think they're not too scared to call the police? Have you ever been assaulted before? <laughs> uh, we're not going to go there. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. We're not ah. going to Yeah, but honestly, looking at how she uses it, she's like, not that technical, but she kind of uses it decently well. So that makes me think that, like, she does this a lot. <laughs> Beat people? Yes. Like, that shows you that, like, she's good with what this freaking sword, man. Fair enough. She kicks the hair enough, cool. Also, like, same scene. She breaks in. She, like, fucking sneezes onto his, like, mother's dress or mm-hmm. some shit. Also, I like how she's just sneezing a lot because she just is, has a dirty apartment. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Also, how gross is your apartment that is literally giving you allergic reactions? Yeah. What are you keeping yeah. in there? How disgusting are I mean, you? We get to see it. It is gross. It is they gross. censored the drain, Cole. Which was kind I of appreciate. Fun. I thought it was fun. I would. I wouldn't want to see what's in there. Oh, well, yeah. So we get into the house. Taiga tries to, you know, assault someone, assault a minor. I don't know if she's eighteen at this point or not. Mm-mm. She's not. No, it. because it's before New Year's. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do so, they ever talk about her birthday or does? No, they don't. It's okay. very odd. Very odd. So let's go back in. So you know, Taiga's upset because oh, he read my love letter that was meant for Kitamura. Yeah, like, but then he goes and shows her all of his. Not only that, she there's no letter in the envelope. Yeah, there was literally no letter, 
And how, he's, how do you forget a letter in an envelope? The answer is you have to be tied. <laughs> you have to be a small, angry person. <laughs> <laughs> small and very pissed off Extremely at all times. Off. And very clumsy. Yeah, but like, why did Ryuji just way. like, here's all of mine. You shouldn't be embarrassed. I mean, what? It's understandable. Like, if I broke into your house and was beating you because you knew a secret of mine, if you tell me the same secret but more messed up and creepy, I'm obviously going to be like, okay, that's understandable. If I you, feel say, less... if you break into my house mm -hmm. and I show you love letters I want to give to your best friend, I feel like she would keep swinging, <laughs> if anything. <sighs> If it's as creepy as well, okay. it looked. Well, it was pretty creepy. It was pretty creepy. It was weird as hell. I mean, how much weirder could you get than a girl breaking into your house to beat you because you know her secret? Yeah, it's tight. She was like, it's either you die or I die. <laughs> and I don't want to die. And I'm like, uh, it's just become, lady. It's the Hunger Games. <laughs> oh, thank you, Phil. I wasn't going to go there, but uh, I was going to bring that up, that sweet, sweet uh, cut, you know? Cut as in reference, cool. <laughs> I don't know, I've never heard that term okay. before, to be honest with you. <laughs> you hear this guy? What a douche. <laughs> I'm new to the game, okay? I'm new to the game, new to the cut uh, game. I do like... Like, Ryuji and Taiga's conversations here, though, in this first episode. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, very... they're really, like, in both in both Japanese and in the English dub, they're both super smooth, really show us what these characters are like, pristine, really well-written. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I love that. They just, like, reveal that she's directly across from him. Oh, yeah. And I like <laughs> how they reveal it. Yeah. It... Oh. Like, it's just... Out of nowhere, you just walk out, and she's right there, she's right there. waiting to right beat up Ryuji destroy again. Destroy you, and that's like, oh, uh, hey, yeah. and that's like, that's right, how you broke into go. my goddamn apartment. Yep. Oh my gosh, because it's not revealed then, but it's revealed very closely after, isn't it? Because yeah, it's revealed like the next morning. Mm -hmm. Because he wakes up, gets like a call, and he hangs up on her, which I think is really funny. Because she's Cause freaking screaming she's at him. Scre yeah, she's screaming at him. And then it's like, he hangs up and he's like, oh no. And then she calls back and he's like, ooh. And he picks up the me. phone. And it's like, did you just hang up on me? And then literally he's like, shit. It's me after I actually hang up from work. <laughs> and they just rip on me the next time they see me. How often do you do that? Uh. Anyways, episode two. Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> Right. I don't know how the bird loses hair whenever it's stressed. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to talk about the bird too much. Bird that's was, true. The bird's not. bird made me sad. Like, <laughs> that it's like part the, of the family. I'm the like, bird oh. reminded me of myself a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. I had a speech impediment, Connor. <laughs> I was looking for a way to phrase that. I'm glad you said it, not me. It had a speech impediment and severe nerve damage. True. Oh, man. Is that your nerve Ooh. damage hand? <laughs> Thanks, Cole. So, let's hop into episode two. Also, um, Minorin says, nobody says chummy anymore. Or, Taiga says that to Minorin. Mm -hmm. She's absolutely correct. I don't think I've ever heard someone actually say that word. I've heard older people. Which no is, one says that. It's actually or one of the reasons why I I've, liked Kushida a lot was because she seemed like... I've always been told... On crack? Like, no. She... No, no, no. no like, I've always been told that I talk like an old man. And she talked it like... She talked, she, talked she talked like an old woman. Where are you going with this? That's it. Oh, okay. We just talked in a similar fashion. Oh, okay. And I really... Why couldn't she Bible talk like that. an old man, Connor? What? Why couldn't she talk like an old man, Connor? Cole, I'm not getting into this with you. <laughs> this is only going to end up poor Bad. for both of us. This is only going to end up with a freaking video we can't use. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so let's talk about number two. Uh, Tiger's efforts to get closer to Yusaku. Taiga and Ryuji. What this episode's You're calling called. me Yusaku, I'm calling Kitamura, same shit. You'll, we'll probably get confused ourselves doing this, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll just... 
Um, I love how Ryuji just straight up knocks out Taiga with the basketball. Just floors yeah, her. Just <laughs> we're, we're like 10 seconds into the episode. He just Boy. floors her. You know, it's master plan time. You got to floor All of their that plans. Shit. All of their plans are trash. All of their plans are really bad. You're going to knock out her partner. Mm-hmm. Or his partner, sorry. You're going to floor his partner. We don't know who it is. Uh-huh. We don't know if you're going to get charged with assault. We don't know what's going to happen. No one gets charged in this freaking fucking thing. I'm, I, I, I mean, I keep track. Two of weeks suspension. Literally, enough. I, cause, it causes like severe damage to someone and gets a two week suspension. That's severe damage. They went pretty equal. They went even. They, they looked like they had their shit kicked in, actually. Yeah, which is why two weeks. Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, I have chase scene, but I don't remember what the chase scene is. Chase, chase episode two. I just put chase scene good. <laughs> no context. I don't know why it's here. I don't remember what scene it is. All right, let's let's end up back on that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get copy striked. Just what? don't play. Just don't play the music, and we won't get copy striked. What are you? Uh, are you not looking at it? Yeah, but I'm not using the audio. Oh, okay. Are you stupid. <laughs> Kinda. Oh my god. Also, also I like you said 10 seconds. This one seems a little further further than that. <laughs> but uh, I think it's really funny, the whole basketball thing. Because. Oh, that seems great. Holy so shit. Funny. Basketball, whatever. Basketball playing was bad. It was oh. in god awful plan. But that's what makes it good. That's what makes it very endearing because you'll come up with really crappy plans. Yeah. Like, especially when it's like, oh, I have a crush on this girl. I'm going to do something I know super what the chase scene is now. It's whenever he's, when Taiga's chasing after Kitamura and then, like, trips and throws the cookies out the window. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Which and then they leads get me to the next point. Which we get, like, the first cute-ass fucking scene of this show. Mm-hmm. Whenever he just, like, eats all of the goddamn Yeah, cookies. and they taste awful. And they taste awful, and he just goes with it. But just, he's just like, mmm, delicious. My, my man home. is smooth. My man is way too nice. Yeah, I mean, he does get played a lot. He does get played a lot. <laughs> like, Specifically by one check. Specifically by like two. Kind what are you of. talking about? Amy kind of threw a few things in there. Like, she did a few. So, who was talking about? Oh, I thought we were talking about Tyga. I mean, Tyga played, Ty- 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 played him for a while. Well, they get. Do you want to say that yet? Yes. They get together in the end. I don't know if you guys They try know. to get married, Connor. Get married, exactly. But see, that's the thing. They, is it really They're them children, playing Connor. each other when they love each other? At the time, they didn't. I guess. I don't, they, all, they both still kind of like each other. Because episode two, when Taiga goes to confess to Kitamura, Kitamura straight up is like, yo. <laughs> You're dumb as I shit. I thought you were in love with Ryuji, my boy. My and, man. And then, no, what? No, Tiger's like, no, no, that's not me. It's like, and then Kimura's like, yo, but you like him. And she's like, well, I, I don't hate him. So, yeah, I, I like him. But, wait, not like that. And she gets all flustered, yada, yada. Man, like, and then as like, someone as, hmm. like, scary as she's supposed to be, she has zero social skills. Oh, absolutely. Like, Which I think adds to her scariness. Because if you tried to talk to her about something, she'd beat you up. And because she just has no social skills, it's violence time. This also brings to the, uh, the the pole kicking scene where they're just screaming about how people don't understand mm-hmm. them, which is one of my favorite fucking scenes mm-hmm. in this show. Because, like, you know what? Did we I tilt the fucking... pole, Cole? <laughs> did, we... did we tilt it? <laughs> no. How? That's impossible. Wait a second. It's tilted. Oh, we did it. We <laughs> won. Big brain. Big brain. <laughs> they managed to tilt the pole. What? Like, Jesus Christ. To be fair, it is a pretty thick pole. I don't know how the hell they tilted that. I don't know. You just have to be small and angry. You have to be able to, you know, throw a desk 20 feet in the fucking air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then, like, although we were talking about before Taiga goes to confess to mm-hmm. Kitamura. Let me get out of my hand. Um, she, Ryu just, like, dips midway through talking to Minorin, which is, like, Min- Minori. Minori. Because <laughs> her name's Minori. Tiger calls her Minorin because it's probably some cute play on words that yeah. we don't understand because we're Englishmen. 
Because we are top of the morning to you. Oh Jesus Wait, Christ! That's Irish. that's Irish, you dumbass. <laughs> and we're also not that, that English. <laughs> True. <laughs> but like, you just like dips wind midway through conversation to go like hear someone else's conversation. Yeah. No wonder. She doesn't know what the hell she wants. You're an asshole, Ryuji. You're not an asshole. You, you at least just say, you at least say, oh shit, something came up. I have to dip real quick. No, no, no. You don't. He just doesn't just say anything. He just walks away. <laughs> well, you... I, I would like go up and <laughs> smack him. Yeah. Like, oh man. Ugh. What was I gonna say to you, Cole? Before that, even, I want to point out that everybody made these rumors, right, mm-hmm. about Taiga and Ryuji, which I think was pretty funny. Right? Yeah. Because it's like, oh, you know, Tiger Ryuji, it's like, understandable, because, you know, they literally walk out of the same house in the morning, and at supper, and they always come to school together. It's like, hmm, you know? But, you know, typically you ask someone. Yeah, you, you usually like, like, oh, hey, what's going on there? So whenever, like, big misunderstanding, and then even the two best friends are like, uh, please take good care of her. It's like, good job, Takasu, you did it, says Kitamura. Thank God. Dude, Kitamura, like, in these first few episodes, are, is the best thing that this show could have offered. It's mm-hmm. so... Per- he just appears on the rooftop, which mm-hmm. is because of this president, right? Because she did that to him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll get, I'll that's get a good. That's I'll, a good flashback. I'll get, for, I'll get uh, to the, uh, I'll get to the uh, president in a bit. I have mixed feelings about the president. I, I also like have her. mixed feelings, and I think you'll see why whenever I bring her up. Like but are we talk talking about, about how Kitamura? What? Nothing. What did you just say? They're not talking about her body, Cole. I'm not actually. No. Okay. Christ. Okay. God, we're cutting that. Anyways. Cutting this that. also has uh, Kitamura saying, I sure will become really good friends. My man just mm-hmm. absolutely annihilated her. Yeah. No. That was rough. Man. I would have. No. That's. I like episode two. I think episode two is such a great yeah. episode. Also, I want to point out, she says this and Ryuji just appears because he was listening the whole time, but she doesn't know that. So he just shows up as like, hey, no, that <laughs> sucked. Damn, you're trash at this, yeah, dog. you're god awful. You really need my help. It's you know like, what you need? Wow. Me to marry you. <laughs> we didn't get there yet, Cole. Okay, anyways, it's moving fun. on to episode fun. three. Mm-hmm. Um... I just ha- <laughs> I don't know why, but I skipped like half the episode, and I just said, Kushida has a garbage swing. <laughs> okay. The listen. way she swings the bat, she's going to destroy her wrist. Understandable, Mr. Like- softball man. You see, guys, this is Cole the softball baseball superstar talking right now. Showcase league game. Showcase league. <laughs> uh, but you're just nitpicking at this point. I, no, but it's, she swings like shit. Like, I know softball swing, baseball swing, different. Yeah, 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 whatever. But she sucked she, it. She just, yeah, she freaking she destroyed that. Yeah. She hit it hard. Doesn't mean she hits it well. Buddy. She's going to, she, like, she's going to be fucking Tommy John. Like, <laughs> she's going to be put on the fucking IL. Like, what are you? I, listen, all I'm saying is, you only need your wrists for a certain amount of time. No, not in baseball. She's a pitcher. <laughs> you only need them for a certain amount of time. You only need them for your career after that. Doesn't exactly. Matter. How do you think Mike Tyson feels right now? <laughs> Mike Tyson mysteries. <laughs> Mike Tyson mysteries. That's why he's doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's doing it. All oh the hits. God. All the hits to the head. Man, I don't have a lot about this episode. I just put like, Kushida swing garbage. Tiger's got a hell of a kick. Uh, sexual assault. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Ry- Ryuji yelling SOS. Yeah, some dude just like, fully like grabs Ryuji's ass. And no one reports that? Yeah. Because she's like, oh, he sees my mother. He That's says, even more red flags. He says, the, he says, like, the one, oh, I keep it in the jeans or whatever. Like, I get to touch you know, your mom's jeans. I, what? Yeah, something like, <laughs> if I can't have the mom, I'll just do this. I'll just have the son grab his butt. Like, you can't uh, say that. You can't <laughs> grab that. He's a minor. Uh, exactly. <laughs> oh, in Japan, is he? He's seven. Well, technically, he's of age of consent. But I don't think he consented, Cole. I mean, yeah, that, so I, that's, uh, that, that's assault, the main uh, problem. I know that. Also, no, no one even reports it. I really like how their their rice cooker broke because I was watching this episode with my mother as well, and I tried to make rice the night before. A rice cooker just fucking broken, <laughs> just not working. Like, so meanwhile, I'm talking to my mother, and that scene comes on, and my mom just loses it. She laughs. She laughs 
so much. Because she's like, it's like us, haha. And I'm like, are we Japanese? <laughs> I was going to say, I like how this is what you're pulling from this show. <laughs> that you haven't really said anything other than, who is that character? Oh, it's his mom. Okay. And, oh, our rice cooker broken too. Which I thought was really funny. Relatability. Um, th- this is also where we get the line, a nosebleed just means your heart is sweating. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> Which is followed up I later. I think we by... call that palpitations. Okay. But okay. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. Biology major. Over here. I am not a biology major. He's I... a business major. Ooh. Time to make money off the podcast, boys. Time to make money. <laughs> see the see the video. Seventy the ads. Video. Seventy ads. 70. One every minute. There's a video in these ads. <laughs> hey guys, ready for this? Three, two, one. And you're back from the ad. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Are we actually going to put an ad there? No, we're not going to put an ad there. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> if there is an ad there, I apologize in advance. Oh my it, God. But it's going to be funny. I also have a, a, the tone change whenever Ryuji sees Taiga at the window, but I don't remember what scene he that's talking about. <laughs> I need to put I mean, context. I just put things. I'm like, oh, I'll remember. You really do just put things. <laughs> I and I try to find this... Oh, you're talking about when they're locked in the, the cabinet. Oh, thing. yes. When they're locked in the shed. That was hilarious. Man. Oh, that was but really good. But we talk about how... Uh, it was a really heartwarming moment, too. Him but, and Kushida talking. Yeah, but like, she was scared shitless whenever they were playing softball. She was shaking and everything. Yeah. She was She was really scared. Like, she was like, this man is going to kill me. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't necessarily think that's the case. <laughs> I think she was... She is scary. I, no, I was going to say she... Was scared to be around the guy he likes. She likes. Does because, she like him at this? Yeah, point? she likes him the whole time. I didn't get that from this, but okay. Well, she she admits to it. I later. mean, it makes sense. She admits to it later, like. Well, I she like says three, long three. time. I assume that meant since like episode fucking ten or something. I don't know. I assume that meant since episode one. Because oh. <laughs> I was like. I mean, both make sense in a way. Kind of I mean, depends Peter on your. Peter liked Tyga since episode. Before one, negative like two, negative like five, which like, is the what? score I'm giving. No, <laughs> that's what my score is um, gonna be. Oh Jesus! But like that's like, like the whole locked in the uh, gazebo, whatever the thing, garage gazebo. I don't know what yeah. the fuck it is. Um, also, I like I really like the scene uh, because they're playing baseball, yada yada. But they just like that's one of the moments where I was like, I really like Kushida. I don't. Uh, I, really I can't like, keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Ryuji. I liked both of them. And I really enjoyed those two interacting with each other and how their dynamic worked of them liking each other. And it's like, they're awesome. I don't... I'm being really nitpicky here, but I find... Yeah, you are. I find Kushida just slightly annoying. At times, she can be a bit too much for see, the show to handle. See, that's what I like. She's really extra. She's and giving I me like fucking extra. Mako vibes from Kill a Kill. Yeah, that's why and I, I like was her annoyed so much. as shit by Mako. I loved Mako from Kill a Kill. Oh, yeah, we have very different personalities when we see women. He's like, oh, I like, <laughs> like Kushima, and I'm like, man, Kushieda. <laughs> Someone that's toxic that will make me hate myself? Count me in. Someone that wants me to be my best me? Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. Oh, man. Don't take life advice from me, kids. Yeah, take life advice from me. I'll, I'll tell you right now. It's not going to pan out well. <laughs> All right. Are we talking about uh, episode four? The start of episode four. Taiga goes, rice is pouring out of Ryuji's ear. Yeah, has a dream what about that. What kind of dreams is she having? She... I've never had that wild of a dream where someone's rice is coming out of someone's ear. I mean, would you remember it, though? Probably. I remember you a lot of my dreams. That. I remember a lot of my dreams. You probably only remember, like, 5%. It's typically the average of, like... Yeah. I feel like I remember a lot of them. Because I remember... I, like, I literally... well, 5%'s a lot, considering how much you sleep. I don't. Thanks, Cole. <laughs> I'm really sl- bumming me out. I haven't slept for a man. while. I've he- been too busy staying up listening to Everlog by the Foo Fighters <laughs> slow and reverb. <laughs> well, it's a sick cut you just dropped there. Back to the beginning of the episode. Man. Just the worst. I, Back to the episode. I, I really enjoy how she... First of all, Taya doesn't really say anything because she's just really upset. At both Kushida 
and Takasu, mainly Takasu, because he didn't get to, he, he was barely working. Because he was like, oh, you're the son of the lady. You don't have to work. Bah. I mean, to be bah. fair. And I'm, I'm out here like, man, if I get groped. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would be like, um, I'm reporting you. I'm not working for you at all, actually. That's I don't true. care how much you pay me. I mean, personally, if I was the guy, I would have been like, hold the fucking phone. I'm not letting Kushi... This is just maybe me being overprotective. But then again, he groped me in this situation. If I see my crush is working for this guy, I'm going to be like, give me a job here. Because I'll kick your ass <laughs> if you do anything. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, man. Right. Okay, student council president. This student is like the first president. time we get to meet her. This is episode four, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Why is she allowed to like look at students and call them maggots? Or look t- at Taiga directly is... in the eye and be like, squirt? Yeah, what does a squirt want? God. Like, how are you allowed? How is she the president if she treats everybody like dirt? Like, holy, she must <laughs> she be really good at her job. She wants to be an astronaut. She wants to be an astronaut. Go to <laughs> space and look at everybody from below. Because she sees herself that high up. On her pedestal. Which I'll get to. Mm-hmm. Which you'll you'll see it whenever we get there. Anyways, uh, Haruta. This is also where we get more in-depth with Haruta, in a way. You Why is he so... I know. And also, before we even get that far, I want to just point out, this whole episode is about Ryuji taking pictures for Taiga. Yeah, that's like the main... It's the main whole bazinga this episode, which I think is really funny, because she's like, oh, I shake every time I see him, like, you're stupid. Parkinson's question mark? (laughs) Tremors question mark? Oh, no. no. Do you smell burnt toast? (laughs) That's a stroke, Cole. That ain't ain't tremors. I don't know. You got the wrong I don't think we're allowed to keep that in there. You can keep that. Hey, sorry if your father, mother, or family member is such a stroke. Yeah, straight up, that's... I apologize. Um, He's not. God fucking damn it. Um, how, like, speaking of being trash, how, uh, how bad is Taiga at taking pictures that she literally cannot take a non blurry one? No, yeah, terrible. God like, I know you shake, but it, there's autofocus. There is autofocus. Well, like, I don't know. Maybe they didn't have autofocus in her little whatever photo. Bro, camera. our phones have autofocus. That's true. And they also have phones. So I don't know if she's taking it with an actual, like, camera, but, like, a crappy camera. But she can't... Oh, my God. Like, a disposable... I mean, to be fair, she does have, like, a flip phone, though, doesn't she? She does, but she can take Would pictures of autofocus? I'm not sure, but she took a picture of a I, star, I, I, I and the star that, appeared. That's so true. So that's a pretty decent camera. True, it, Like, yeah. God. Man, also... And she peels potatoes like a serial killer. Yeah, putting <laughs> them into a cube. She's like, here we you go. You're kidding me. Chop, chop. I'm just going to chop. Chop, chop, And then, who cares? I'm rich. I don't care about the poor people that this food could have went to. Yeah. Throws it out. I like how Taiga is just like, who cares I'm rich? Because I'm like, man, true. <laughs> Can relate. Relatable. <laughs> it's not like no. I have to... Or anything. Anyways. Well, I'm going to have um, to too, but like, come on, cool. Um, Kushida just we're makes... Not rich <laughs> compared to other people. Kushida just makes like a whole ass bucket of pudding. Oh my gosh, she makes you know you know how huge was, bucket of pudding. You know and how, it sucked apparently, but she you know said how it was I was good? talking about like how much of a crackhead she is. Mm-hmm. This is what this was like the last nail in the coffin. This was like when she made super pudding. When she made so much pudding that it filled up a goddamn bucket. Mm-hmm. Why? Does she have a like? She I know she's a brother. Yeah, but like we don't talk about any other of her family. Does she have more family members? I don't know. It's a good point. We never really get into well, that. To be fair, we didn't know like anything about anybody's family ever. Uh, Kinemura's dad's an abusive piece of shit. We know that. Is he? Well, whenever he dyes his hair blonde, he freaking socks him. Remember that? He meets up with uh, Ryuji and he has this big-ass bruise on the side of his face. No, that wasn't the dad, idiot. Was the, who was it? I'm definitely 100% thinking that was the president. No. I, who else? Did he say his dad snapped and hit him? I don't remember. Ugh, that's a great point, but I could have too far ahead. I could have sworn his dad said, like, he said, like, his dad snapped. Anyways, back to episode four. If so, but then again, if I was a father. 
My son dyed his hair. I wouldn't probably hit him, but I really talk into. I really nail into him with my words. You know what I'm saying? You say with a clenched fist. <laughs> well, I said nail, so I was like, I was grasping a hammer, guys. Get it? Hammering a nail. <laughs> Connor abuses his children. I don't have children to abuse, Cole. Nice try. Oh God, no, we can't keep that in. What do you mean? Connor. I don't have children. I would never abuse them. Yada yada. There we go. I want to talk about God, how dude. Tyga was is so upset about her photos. This is some of the mental gymnastics you have to do. God, yeah, here we go. Where you have to extrapolate information faster than a supercomputer if you want to pick up what the hell she's thinking or any of these characters are thinking. The only character that is the slightest bit transparent is Ryuji. Oh, that's because he's pretty easy to read. And that's because he's and the main character thoughts. and you get his thoughts. Meanwhile, you look at Taiga and she's like, Pick any of these photos. I don't care. And it's like, why didn't she get? Did she not like the photos? Is it because she's not in them? I thought, oh, it's probably because she's not in the photos with him. You know, that would be understandable. It's like, no, it's because he didn't have the look that he had that day when he confessed to me. It's like, what are then you? You should have said yes, loser. Like, like what? <laughs> like, oh my God. what an idiot. God. <laughs> She's like, I love how, like, Ryu just looking at the pictures and Kinnabur just, like, walks up and starts looking at him, too. Yeah, and it's, oh my god, and Kinnabur looks at him and is like, hmm, are these tigers? And it's like, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, wait a minute. <laughs> like, what? Every time, I, every time I see that scene, I'm always just like, da, 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 da. It's, oh my god! It's that's insane. And it's the fucking, so funny. The fucking like her huh face that Ryuji gives whenever he finds out Kinemura like confessed oh, already. Yeah. And, and how he's pissed he gets? Pissed. He's so mad because he he is like I would he would literally probably give up his kidney for that his left kidney specifically, but he would give up his left kidney for that exact scenario to happen to him. Like holy moly! I would be pissed. I'd also be pissed. Someone's getting a friggin' slap. <laughs> okay. I just realized something. Taiga and Ryuji getting together, like, at the start where they, like, become friends and yada yada. Hear me out. Really blows up in their face, considering how they like each other's friends, right? Well, it blows up for Ryuji. Taiga was screwed from the start. Kinda, yeah. Which is really sad. I mean... I mean, it's really sad until you realize that they end up getting, like, the quote-unquote happy ending anyways, in a sense. Do you know what would have made me happier? <laughs> Go for it. I don't know what Cole's thinking, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have to play mental gymnastics with him right now. Mental ping pong. Mental ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm across if the table we, from we're Cook. playing mental ping pong right now I would have gotten obliterated <laughs> Cole's serving like some heat right now apparently judging by how he's yeah. laughing <laughs> my ADHD throws a kick serve mm-hmm. oh my god <laughs> lord anyways oh, episode 5 episode 5 introduction of Amy mm-hmm. um, you know the reveal that Kitamura knows her Yep. That reveal's done super well. It is. It's because they meet up and it's like, oh, hey, look, it's Model Girl. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, hey, look, it's Kitamura Model Girl together. Yeah. Whoa! And Tiger's Paris. The first time I watched this show, I thought Amy's character was going to be the thing that was like, oh, I don't want to watch this anymore. Because at first, she okay. annoyed the ever living shit out of me, which I know is the point. Well, yeah. I know that's the it's point. Because she's plastic. But, like, I, I've, originally, I thought, like, oh, this is just going to, like, She's just going to piss me off. And then by the end of the show, I was like, damn, like she's kind of my favorite character. <laughs> she's I, all right. I don't think they used her well right away. No. Nah, mm. I feel like they just made her too much of like a fake person. I guess. I think they went too far with it and that kind of like made me like, oh, okay, obviously this person is not real. So I kind of thought I wouldn't like her as much as I ended up, you know... But she does say the rose, do they even sell clothes in your size? Mm-hmm. Uh, Tiger should have, like, like knocked her straight out for that. I mean... That is, that is an insane roast. <laughs> what, what she, she said something, and Tiger just looks over, slaps her. Yeah. And just, it's like, oh, mosquito. And you're there's like... There's a mosquito on your face. Yeah, mosquito, uh, fly, <laughs> you know how it'd be. I would have loved to see a straight-up fist fight between those two. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, it's because she's insulting, like, oh, you don't wear clothes, yada, yada. What are you, child size? Haha. Funny, funny. You're you hemming your pants. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Shut her up real quick, though. I respect mm-hmm. that. I mean, yeah. Dude, that's why I like Tiger. She just does. And I love the, uh, the line whenever Amy first arrives at the school. And uh, I forget his name, buddy with glasses there. Uh, which buddy with glasses? Uh, it's a couple. It's a couple. The only one that I don't remember the name of. <laughs> the one that got into the fight with uh, uh, Kihara at the end. Oh, him. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, Nano? Name. Na- Nato? Nato? Na- Nato? N- Nato? I don't know. I, for some reason, I thought Nanali from Go Diaz for a second, and I was like, nope, he for can walk. For a second, I thought you were just about to say that. Oh, Nautilus. that's bad. I should say that. <laughs> what? I said, no, he can walk. <laughs> I'm gonna say I was gonna say Nautilus from like that Disney movie. What? <laughs> no, the Nautilus. It's where they turn. They're, they're in like a big ship or something. And they Atlantis? Have to go to Atlantis. Is it called Atlantis? I'm pretty sure it's called. The Atlantis. ship's called the Nautilus. Very cool. Dumbass. <laughs> Shut up! I've been seeing anyways, the movie in like many anyways, many years. He just starts like praising God. He found religion after seeing Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Homie Wait. developed faith after seeing that. Well, it's funny, dude. It's funny <laughs> stuff. I, dude, I love how perceptive Minori is. Because she was like, bing, 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 look at my cute girl radar. It's not going off at all. And I'm like, okay, true. Okay, put on the ball cap and calm down. <laughs> Listen. Simmer down there. Simmer down, cue ball. <laughs> Don't get nerve damage. <laughs> What is that reference to? <laughs> oh, her freaking swing. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Cole's really harping on her. Oh man, form. it's trash. She has a garbage swing, man. Uh, I like the note passing scene though. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was funny. Note uh, passing, dude. It's because she just, you know, just stands up. She looks like she's gonna make a, a good symbol, and then just eh, X, and her face changes, and everybody's looking except for the teacher, and everyone's hella confused. <laughs> everybody's like, what? In God's name is going on. The teacher turns around and just everybody's like, <laughs> okay, okay, right. need that happen. It's um, so it's so it's so weird. That's why I like a character though. It's so extra. I she could have literally just wrote on a note, passed it back, but no, she wanted to. She wanted um, everyone to see. Yeah, she wanted. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. It's about sending a message. <laughs> <laughs> but we also get um uh. I don't know why I say Isaka here and Taiga in every other sentence, but uh, we have Taiga like saying that she'll stalk Amy and Amy freaking out, even though we don't know about the stalker yet. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of neat little photo foreshadowing a little bit. It I is. That was... I didn't actually catch on to that because I just forgot about the line where she was like, oh, they'll stalk you, yada, yada. But I think it's really, really funny. And that's smooth. I also, that smart. I like how Ryuji just is like, oh, yeah. Time to clean Tiger's locker because she tripped and spilled something inside her locker. How do you do that? I don't know. How do you, like, aren't you typically walking sideways in parallel to your locker? Ten bucks. She was like drinking something and tried to grab something and like hit the cup and just fell into the locker because she's an idiot. Ten bucks. She literally just fell. <laughs> she on just got her... mad and shook the cup. <laughs> I was gonna say she literally just went to take a step or something and her legs just buckled under. <laughs> she was gone. Okay. I also like how Taiga falls and she just like drops something. And when Minori falls, she just nosebleed instant like it concussion. Instantly, look at like it. most injury prone, nerve damage. Yeah. God. <laughs> like, man, okay. it is so funny. Oh my gosh. I also like how perceptive Kishi. Kawashima. Kawashima. I like how perceptive Kawashima is. Just call her Amy, man. Like, yeah. we've been over this. Just call her Amy. I'm going to call her Dunchy, if anything. Okay, go for it. But uh, anyways, she is so perceptive that she's like, hmm, hello, Taiga, yada, yada, talk, talk, talk. And it's like, oh, I told Ryuji about what you did, blah, blah, or not Ryuji, told uh, Kitamura. Kitamura about what you did. She probably hates you now. Probably despises <laughs> your yeah. guts. Dude. And then she just pales Dude. a ghost, and you're like, oh. Amy is manipulative as fuck, and that's why mm-hmm. I love her as a character. True. Because she just, like, starts shit. And mm-hmm. It's perfect. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like her. I think it's great. I like two-faced people. That is 
plot being put on fast goddamn forward. True. <laughs> this went from 50 episodes to 25 like, real, real quick. quick. Just because some like blue haired chick entered stage right. And then we just and then we just started going at two times speed. <laughs> oh, Netflix man. couldn't keep up. That's why they don't have two times speed. And yeah, only so 1. they only 5. have 1.5. Actually, when you're watching Toradora, you have to hit the 0. 0.75. <laughs> just to you miss half up. the plot. <laughs> It's so funny. But that brings us... Also, Ryuji is a goat. He can talk Taiga out of any depression, basically. Like, she was so bummed out about the whole, like, Kitamura not liking her thing. And then Ryuji's like, come on, if that's true, then why even like the guy? Right? It's like, true. Ryuji got bars. (laughs) You got bars. Ryuji got, like... Dude, he could win an award for... I want to say public speaking. Because that's what first came to mind. I mean, he's but also scary as shit, I wanted to say something about though. speeches. Because he's whack. Yeah, exactly. He, he has some incredible lines. He's crazy good lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That brings us to episode mm-hmm. six. Actually, where, um, you, want to, you want to talk about how she's getting stalked first? That is that's not introduced, episode six? That's introduced in episode five. Is Taiga that? and Ryuji. Oh, they see, see her, her walking. Yeah, see yeah. her walking and then they see her getting stalked. Oh, that's true. I think, at least. I'm pretty sure it's the beginning of episode six. Yeah, I don't know if she is getting stalked at this point, but she's... What yeah, because, convenience because this is where that, um, like, Taiga takes Amy into her house. That's oh, episode yeah. six. Hold on. Because she's yeah. getting stalked. She's so getting stalked in the like, next episode. However, we get to see her going to a convenience store all, yeah. like, hidden, disguised, because she's super, super sketched out, right? So we actually... it's We don't get to see Stalker Man yet, but we do... To get to see Taiga and Kushida absolutely just harass the fuck out oh, of Amy yeah. in the beginning of the episode. The diet Why? warriors? Why? Because they're diet warriors. Like, you're, they... just, you're just poking the bear. Dude, like... dude Dumchi was out here talking like, oh, I don't go to diet, ha ha ha. Meanwhile, they're like, oh yeah? Bitch. You think freaking Taiga is on a diet? Well, she can't be. She would literally cease to exist. <laughs> like, you kidding me? <laughs> She needs all the calories she can get, Call. <laughs> She's tiny. I also like how overdramatic everything is. Because they go over and they like... They... Uh, how do I even describe that? They just manhandle their tummy. That's what I'm saying. They just like... Uh, they just harass they her. They just destroy her self-confidence. But not at all, ever. Because she just doesn't super care. And then the other two girls that... Uh, dumb cheese with are like yo that was so mean of them and meanwhile she's like oh yeah that was a boo hoo boo hoo <laughs> I'm so sad they're so mean I'm like shut the hell up bitch <laughs> thanks Cole for adding the bitch <laughs> yeah no you're welcome you have to add it at the end or it's not funny <laughs> true you hey need, guys you need to be vulgar to be funny you're comedy you cannot true be comedy. funny without vulgar absolutely <laughs> I mean, oh my god. yeah that makes sense anyways um, so, Amy catches up with Taiga and Ryuji while she's getting stalked. Mm-hmm. She goes to Taiga's place. Taiga makes her do impressions for six hours. 150 different impressions. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, by the way, is kind of impressive, actually. It is kind of impressive. And also, I'm, I was very confused, too, because, like, why would you do that? Because she's dumb. <laughs> They're both really dumb people. I mean, yeah, you're right, but like, if someone was like, if I went up to you, Cole, and I was like, you do 150 impressions, you'd be like, fuck no. Did I like, threaten her or something? Did I miss I mean, that? I guess, like. Oh, I'll she, throw you out. She'd probably be like, okay, well, I'll go to well, friggin' Ryuji's, and he'll probably protect me because it's Ryuji. True. <laughs> it is Ryuji. Well, she didn't think that yet. Probably, maybe not. I don't know. I don't recall exactly. And also, I really like how she, like, Gets a hold of Ryuji. She's like, oh, will you protect me? Yada, yada. Because Stalker Man's falling around. And then Taiga just straight up throws a trash can at her. Yeah. And <laughs> calls her an exhibitionist. Like, yo! <laughs> what that, the hell? And that, that's because Taiga is protective of Ryuji. That's when we start to see it. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I think it's so, so funny. Also, the line that, um, I think it's Taiga that says, like, are we eloping? It's kind of funny in hindsight. <laughs> she got practicing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I guess... Okay, so I guess... 
the reason why Ryuji was so like, or why she chose Taiga's house instead of Ryuji's house was because Taiga was like, hey, if you go sleep at Ryuji's, it's so unprotected. I was easy, I was easily able to sneak in. And then she was like, don't feel safe there, you know? Mm-hmm. And and then also she was like, hey, if you could choose the fancy apartment or the shitty one, which one would you choose? <laughs> and she's like, the fancy one, obviously, because I am materialistic. Because I am a model and <laughs> extremely, extremely materialistic. True. And meanwhile, it's like, okay, come over to the fancy apartment. And she's like, oh, you get shit. Blah, blah, blah. But I think it, it is hilarious. Because then... Because of this impressions that she didn't have to do, she really did. I don't. I don't she think Tiger really would have kicked have her out. No, she probably just kicked her ass. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> you know, just, just take a little beating. It's for the better. Is it? Well, I don't know. I mean, what would you rather just get like? I would just go to Ryuji. Depression. At least it's a house. No, but easily able to sneak in, Cole. Come on. I mean. So, like, Cole's just in there, and I'm just recapping through the episodes. Just, like, <laughs> I, I'm, through. I'm playing the Netflix episodes, uh, and I'm skipping through. That's all I have for uh, episode but, six. What? No, the way that... Oh, no, I forgot about this line. Uh, I did say the way that t- Amy talks about her stalker is, like, fucking horrifying. Mm-hmm. It's, like, that's genuine fear. Yeah. No, she's scared, which yeah. is understandable, because I'd be pretty scared, too. I mean, I'm also a guy, so it wouldn't really happen. Poor women. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Connor. What? Why did you just say that? Women who are in that scenario really sucks for them. It's a really a, just an awful thing. If you're going through something like that, I think you should go and uh, try to... Try <laughs> what to advice do you someone. have, Connor? Reach out to someone and see if they can help you. Go to the uh, fucking you, police. Get her straight. That's order. true. Don't police. listen to Connor. <laughs> well, Don't. seeking out someone is also basically seeking out the police. I'm just bad at words. Okay? <laughs> You're an English major. <laughs> no, I'm not, Coach. <laughs> I am not even a college man yet. Oh, my God. God. And, like, um, I like how they end the episode with, like, Taiga walking in on, like, Amy, you know, all over Ryuji. Just making it awkward as shit. The classic, the classic. But I also really like how Taiga is now threatening Dumchi. Like, hey, I'll show them all these impression photos of you. Meanwhile, I'm like, dude, letter. They're probably dude, blurry free. as hell. <laughs> blurry as shit. Did she even hit the record button? <laughs> dude, did she even did she even have the shutter on? God. She doesn't know how cameras work. Like she doesn't know jack shit about cameras, dog. No. You you could probably get away with it. True. Um, also, I find it extremely funny how there is a frog sitting on her foot and she loses her shit. Because she's perfect and can't have that perfect. dirty creature touching her, her. On her toe. Yada yada. Because like, her shoe. I love how, like, Amy just full on, you know, assaults the stalker, <laughs> shatters his, you know, personal property. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he goes to try and get his camera, just straight kicks him. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, assault, let's go, Which fight also, soon. I don't recommend doing that. I also don't because that's an assault charge well, and destruction it, of property. Not just that, but that's pretty dangerous. That is, if they like, they could, you know, cut your foot, throw you on the ground, you know, beat the shit out of you, kidnap you, you know. There's a lot of shit that can go wrong with that plan. True. Yeah. <laughs> also, if you're walking up and confronting him alone in yeah, like yeah. an alley. I mean, area, yeah. Like, there's people coming mm, after like, her, what? but like you know, you, you give them a chance so that they can at least witness what goes on, and you know. I don't know what you're on about, but I don't know. Amy is stupid. <laughs> Amy is stupid. I don't like your character. I like her Next character, episode. but she's dumb. <laughs> Next episode, um, Ryuji just like straight up assaults Taiga with a broom. There's a lot of assault charges in this freaking. What, Amy yeah. assaults Taiga with the door? No, Ryuji. Oh, yeah. Like, he, she opens the door and he just, you know. Well, that was an accident. He was just trying to bang on the window and wasn't looking. <laughs> but also, I really like how Taiga just coming in clutch. Because at the beginning of that episode, uh, Kushida is like, yo, yo, how's it hanging? Anybody in uh, Ryuji's house? Meanwhile, Ryuji and uh, Dumchi are there. And it looks like a really bad situation. Tiger's like, nah, nobody here. It's like, Tiger, oh, you're Get the best in. wingman I've ever seen. I mean, Get her a pilot's license. 
She's a great wingman. She's nuts. I don't understand why she let that go. She didn't really. She was pretty bummed out about it, actually. I mean, I mean, I guess like. I don't know. I'm confused by a lot of her reasoning. Anyways. I also don't... I like how she just says fugly to the bird. Yeah. She just, she just insults it. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rudy's She insults like, hey, everyone. Hey, that's a member of our family. It's like, what's you gonna do about it, bitch? This fugly bird ain't gonna do anything about it. It's like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Can't even say its own name, look at that. Now you're insulting the bird, Connor. Dude, I'm sorry. The bird sucked. I'm, uh, I'm with Taiga on this one. <laughs> all right, episode seven. Mm-hmm. I love, like, the teacher's thoughts. She's getting pissed oh off at all God. the students. She's so <laughs> mad. Because she's out here just, you know, a single lady in her 30s being sad and lonely. And everybody else is all like, man, look at me. I'm young and beautiful and pretty, as in dumb chi out here. Kawashima's like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Because she's being all fake. Teacher's like, I could literally, if I, if I had your body, I would kill. Wait. No. You I'll said say, that backwards. <laughs> I would kill to have your body. And it's like, you. And then Which you look, sounds very scary out of context. Women are scary. <laughs> The women in this anime are scary. The women in this show are scary as shit because they don't care. No. They will insult you. They will manipulate the shit out of you. They're very manipulative. They will literally threaten you. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Do you want to think it's so absolutely nuts? The fact that their relationships, the ones that they wish to have, are all just based around lies. Yeah. Their plans are literally just we're going to lie to this person and trick them and manipulate them into liking you. And it's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, yeah, holy kind of shit. Is. Also, I love, um, uh, what was her name? What's, what's her name? mother's name? Yasuku? Yasuku? Ya-chan. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember, um, what they're actually called, but she calls them, uh, is a boing boings. Not even close. <laughs> That's true. Like, she was trying to say that, what, like, I was, I was a bofine? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Whatever makes your boobies big. That's how they were described in the show, everybody. Don't yeah. worry. Um, uh, really funny. And then you, you, you see that uh, Taiga has a uh, complex body. Taiga sexually assaults Ryuji's mother. True. <laughs> um, with chopsticks. Which is another assault charge. Dude, Whoa. just chuck one up. What's the tally at? <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll put a tally we'll, we'll on We'll keep a tally the eventually. <laughs> for all the different assault charges. I'm not counting um, the one where Yuji hits her with a broom, because that is accident. That would technically be accidental assault, I believe. Cole, I'm going to go over there and accidentally assault you, okay? <laughs> I was going to say something else, and I was like, I'm glad I didn't. But anyways, uh, what are they called? I both in... I don't remember. We'll get there eventually. It's fine. We'll get there. Um... But it's whatever is found in soybeans. Yes. Meanwhile, yes, yes. it's a Tiger's enzyme. Out, probably question mark. I Meanwhile, believe. Tiger's like, dude, give me more of these soybeans. I need my, I I need oh, isoflavins. 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 Flavins. Isoflavins. Cole's back to his accent game. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. But yeah, it's because you know she has a very uh, she's a complex about her body image and. She's just not happy with it. So meanwhile, my boy Ryuji's like, what can I do as, you know, literal housewife god Ryuji? So. So. <laughs> and make... Housewife legend housewife himself. God. He's out here like, I can... It, it's simple. I make pads for her. Which, by the way, is... It, like, personalized on, pads. On paper, it's not a terrible plan for the situation. Mm-hmm. However... You are in a pool, and, and things float in a pool. True. Not only that, Cole. Things float, and she sinks. What? <laughs> no, I was going to say she is super embarrassed. Yeah. Around Kitamura. To the point where he goes to see her, and she has the pads in, no confidence, crumbles under the pressure. Same. And he can't even goddamn see 
He says, "Quando é sonho? Quando é sonho?" He's like, "Hey, is is?" I mean, he does he's say like, only tiger would be only that tiger small. would be that small would be the size. Which actually. is. He didn't say just small. He just said rude, this size. honestly. No, like, no, no. He, it wasn't rude because he said size, not small. You know, which is okay. Because if I saw like Ryuji, I'd be like, "How many Ryuji's this size?" No, he's not. He's pretty big. There's a ton of people that are the same. Isn't Kitamura taller than him? <laughs> you dumbass! <laughs> don't call me out for being a dumbass. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Give me a fucking minute, okay? But, also. Mm-hmm. Kitamura is shirtless a lot, <laughs> well, which is completely unnecessary. I would say it's really fun. Maybe. I mean, it's funny, but it's not really necessary. True. This is also the episode where I'd start feeling bad for Ryuji because the only reason he's so capable is because he literally has to do everything himself. Yeah. And that makes me so fucking sad for him. That's awful. I also... This is the episode we get to see a little bit about uh, Kawashima. Yeah. Because of how Kawashima is just like, look at me, I'm Kawashima. And you actually get to see her in-depth thought when they're praising her. She's like, mm, praise me more, you peons. You I'm peasants. Like, I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me? I kind of like that about her, though. Like She's just like, she awful. has a superiority complex. Awful. Yeah, she's like, bad. <laughs> she's like it's not what I'm complex, looking for my for real. what I'm looking for my women. <laughs> Let Yagmi type shit. <laughs> True. I also think it's hilarious because uh, what's it called? You really just did that, didn't you? Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> God, right? <laughs> I need to fucking censor that. <laughs> Claro, you can't say that. We've been over this. I had to, I have to censor the last episode because of that. I couldn't think of any more H words. <laughs> so many, Connor. Do you want me to bring I'm up gonna, the fucking uh, dictionary? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Anyways. God uh, damn it. Also, Amy and I Chuck Tiger like halfway across the fucking pool. Well, she's small. There's no way she weighs more than like, what, like I mean, 70 yeah, pounds? I don't care. Hey, uh, I won't say her name, but uh, my girlfriend's like what five one. I won't say her name. Well, I don't know uh, if she wants me to. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good there, Cole. <laughs> okay, that's another H word. <laughs> oh, we got him. It all comes back to the. Um, I could chuck her like she's like what five foot. I couldn't chuck her across a pool. Not even close. I was gonna say yeah, but how much does she weigh? <laughs> I don't know actually. Now that I think about it. My guess is not Tyga weight. Tyga literally looks like she's 60 pounds. <laughs> she looks like she's four foot, like, nine. Just highest. Just pulling up under, under five foot gay. Yeah. She's, she's like borderline midget. Like, <laughs> Peter Dinklage gang. <laughs> wow, let's not go that far. Dude, what the hell is Peter Dinklage? I actually don't know. It's also, like, um... If he's more Whatever than three feet, f- I feel bad for saying three feet. Then. Yeah, I kind of. I, I want to assume like mid three feet. Oh, probably like three he's, six. He's probably pulling up mid three feet. Uh, maybe a maybe about four foot. Maybe a little bit. I don't want to say four foot. A little bit under four. I don't know. Um, yeah. I haven't met the guy. I don't. I know. also haven't met the guy. Maybe if he was Peter, up to my it was to, up to my waist. I'd know. Time to Google Peter Dinklage. Right? <laughs> Meanwhile, as cold as that, I'm gonna talk a bit more about uh, episode seven. Pools open, baby. I think it's really funny because literally what could go wrong with putting breast pads in? Oh crap. Everything went wrong went wrong with putting breast pads in. Like one of them just floats away and nobody seems to notice that. What was your guess? Three foot six? Four five. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Peter Dinklage. He is one point three meter. I'm sorry, Peter Dinklage. It's my bad. Might be. I'm only like 50 centimeters taller than Peter Dinklage. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. 50 centimeters is enough. It's true. <laughs> like, Half a meter. Whenever it comes to height, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but Ryuji, um, another assault charge, uh, this time it's very severe. Variety. Yeah, we don't like those. Those are, like those, those, are, like those. But those are disgusting. You know what? Anyways. It was for the greater good. No, he could have just handed it to her. And she oh, could have done it herself. freaking out. Oh, she was calmed down enough by that point. 
cold. I understand my man's trying to help. You telling me you wouldn't have done the same thing? In your I'm situation? telling you, I would not have done the same thing. Absolutely. Well, listen, he was, he had only good intentions. Yeah, but I'm not trying to catch a case over here. Like, what do you mean catch a case? The man liked Kushida until episode goddamn twenty three, man. <laughs> I mean, technically before that, he wasn't gonna catch a case. She was the one catching a case. Taiga or yeah, Taiga. She got a case like episode ten. I mean, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like beach area. It was like Ryuji, Ryuji. I love you. Did episode ten? Almost. What the hell are you talking about, dude? She was basically like. Fuck it. Ryuji's cool. <laughs> like, what, like, what do you want from This me? man makes me food. I mm-hmm. love him. Yeah. <laughs> Trap meat starts. <laughs> A little taiga. <laughs> I also really like how it's taiga versus Kawashima in freestyle swimming. Yeah. I'm like, this is stacked. <laughs> this is this is not a fair fight. This is not fair at all. I I would. They should have just said boxing fight. <laughs> That's a sport. Have them box. That would mean so gay. Do you know what would been way cooler? What? Butt battle. Have you ever seen that? So basically, it was this sport uh, where... I would pretend you just didn't say that to me. Anyways, episode 8. Uh, <laughs> Tiger almost fucking drowns herself in the bathtub. <laughs> Yeah, she's like trying to practice how long she can breathe and like, <laughs> like what? True. You have no one watching you while you do this. I mean, you can she, drown. She just practices like almost drowning a bunch of times. Also, when they're passing the note around in class, like, oh, who's gonna win? Yada, yada, they're putting yada. bets on it. Yeah, they're putting bets on it. And which I used she... to do the same with all of our like non-official school events. Any one of our school fights, I'm putting bets. Mm-hmm. I won like fifty bucks off of a fight one time. <laughs> I really like though Kushieda throughout all this because she's like, you got this mouse ear girl. I forgot about the mouse ears. Oh, they like the hair. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty. Kind of one of her better hairstyles. One of her better hairstyles. Yeah, I don't like the whole Christmas party thing where it's like fucking folded oh, over. Oh, I don't. That like... was awful. That would look disgusting. That was like, oh no, she That's looks weird. like she's trying. I understand. To be it's super high class. fancy. It's supposed to be, and, I am rich, I am fancy, I'm a singer, look at me. But it looked stupid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I hated it. it. Kawashima had I the same her. one. And I, and like, I despise <laughs> her as a character. No, I'm joking. Um. <laughs> wow, cool. And I have to censor. Yes, Connor, I have to censor I have to that. censor I'm double not... B. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> the double B sport? It's baseball, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. Basketball. There's so um, many double B sports. I also like... Um, Amy and Ryuji's conversations in this episode. Box and ball. Because I think this is where Amy starts to like Ryuji more and more. She starts, you know, talking a little bit more to him. Expressing more emotion to him. Bracket ball. Are you still fucking volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I, I yoinked that from I... Diary of a Wimpy Kid, actually. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. No for problem. For that sick cut. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, yeah, I just, I find this is the point where I start, I start liking Amy a lot more and seeing what she's bringing to the table in this show. I'm still at this point, like, Amy, could take her leader. I think, I think this is where she starts adding and not just being annoying. I guess, because I like when she, you know, tricks Takasu and just I mean, does a bunch of, like, funny stuff, just try to get, like, under his skin and make him feel uncomfortable. And I'm like, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Like, I'd like that way more than I'm literally just going to be fake to be fake. Yeah. Because I'm like, mm. stupid. Yeah. I also love uh, Ryuji's little, like, rain dance prayer thing. <laughs> to, like, the weird freaking cloth that he just put a face on. Yep. Is that, is that like, a thing in Japan? i never seen rain that dance? before. Well, like, the little guy that's hanging there, and he's like, please. I do not remember that. <laughs> I, I remember that happening and be like, what? You I don't know this? I'm like, what? I don't remember if that's a culture difference or if that's just Ryuji being a crackhead or like. <laughs> True. Got a bottle of Jaeger and uh, one thing led to another and now he's praying to God. <laughs> Jaeger, some Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> like to bomb this place. <laughs> God, fucking uh, Jaeger bombs, man. She just, um, 
this is the point where I start realizing that, like, Ryuji's mother kind of gives good advice. Whenever she's talking about, like, his relationship with Taiga and being like, oh, you know, it's just, what, what does she say in this episode? I can't remember the line. But it's basically, like, Taiga was pissed off at him mm-hmm. for, like, wanting to go to the beach house or some shit like that, mm-hmm. even though he doesn't actually want to. And she was like, oh, she just doesn't know her feelings or some shit like that. That's good she advice. has some like good advice. The she mother, knows what's up. The mother knew what was up way before Taiga even knew what yeah. was up. No, oh, she sees right through it. It's because the mom's like, "Yo, this is my son. Check him out. He's literally a Greek demigod in the kitchen." <laughs> Who? <laughs> what? Girl, see this them. shit? <laughs> yeah, literally. We literally. He won Miss Housewife four times. Oh, he, he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually not even allowed to apply. He's that good. <laughs> that they let that him. They let him. He's the only man in the competition. <laughs> it's nuts. And it's not even a competition. It's not. It doesn't <laughs> exist. He made this himself. And look how clean it looks. <laughs> He's nuts. He made this trophy with his bare hands. Right. You think it's gold? It's made out of fucking clay. <laughs> his craft skills are nuts. <laughs> Just hyping him the fuck up. Dude, honestly. Well, this, this is the same episode where we get um, Tiger getting pissed about no one helping him whenever he's drowning, right? Mm-hmm. That Which, was I mean, an amazing scene. Whenever oh. she's just like, you're all looking at the bikini, no one's helping him. I'm like, yeah, she's speaking facts. She's speaking. She's spitting. Straight facts. Oh, I would pretend you didn't just, just didn't say that to me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was the cringiest shit you've said this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep looking, giving dirty glances at Cole over here. <laughs> but like, did we yo, she them? calls them out. Did we tell them this is our first episode? Oh in yeah, person? this is our first episode in person. I think we can. Compl- I was gonna mention it early. I was like, oh, I'll let you know to mention mm-hmm. it, and then we just, I just never we did. Just forgot to mention it. So if you made it this part, I just said part. If you made it this far, you get to hear me have uh, verbal dyslexia and Cole <laughs> have amnesia. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh my god. We're testing something out. We're yeah, gonna we're, see how it goes. Yeah. We're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well, but anyways. Episode 9. Episode 9. Uh, dream sequence. Weird. Funny though. Oh my god. The dog house? That was weird Put as Put him in hell. the dog house? But I like it. Bad. Because isn't bad. this where she says like, um, oh it wasn't that bad. Hold on. I just realized we just skipped over something crazy. What did we skip? The f- actual swimming fight. Oh, yeah, that was funny. That I was like amazing. That. that was a great scene. Taiga literally is like, Assault no holds bars, a... assaults her with pool floaties, and then rips off, rips her, off her bikini, bikini top. Which is and also a And throws it. And I'm like, that's genius. Taiga doesn't give a shit. No. She wins any means necessary. It's freestyle. Yeah. That's her style. <laughs> it's freestyle. <laughs> oh, here's freestyle. <laughs> Dude, honestly, she would have gotten away with it, too. It's like the fucking swimming battle in, like, My Hero Academia, where none of them swim. And they all just fly over it. True. They're like, time to jump this bitch. Boom. And Todoroki's just like, I'm gonna just freeze it. Uh, <laughs> he just does. Who's class president? I forget his name. Fucking Le- Lita. Oh, Lida. Yeah. Lita? I forget. Ida? Lida. Lida. It, was, it does not start with an L. Yeah, I think does. it's literally just Ida. No. Is yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's Ida. Oh, well, fuck, I'm stupid. Delighted. <laughs> I've been calling him Lida. But he literally just runs on the ropes, which isn't possible. Yeah, I know. Like, what? No, no, that, that isn't, like, physically possible. Because no. the rope would have so much force that it would swing the other well, way. Well, I mean, eventually. I guess he was, like, gliding on it or something. Was it frozen at that point? Oh. I don't remember. You're but asking me, like, He just now. glided across it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> This is okay. Wrong, show, wrong, show, wrong show. Wrong show. Wrong show. Wrong show. We're getting. We're getting off topic. True. We have a I'm time. Pissed about the wrong we show. We have here. a time crunch today. We don't have time to talk about this. We do have a time crunch, like <laughs> this. Oh no! It's my mother calling. Okay, wait. I'm gonna mute. Cole, okay. hit the mute. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. We're back. It was butt battle, Cole. Oh goddamn it! I just had to that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you cut it off too early. I had, to, I had to fix your pronunciation. Anyways, guys. Sorry about that. You probably won't even notice because it's probably going to get cut. I, I'm probably going to cut that, but yeah. Uh, It'll just be skimmed over. Yeah, yeah. What Anyways. Say? Um, sorry. Oh, yeah. The actual battle. That was amazing. Oh, that was a hilarious and, scene. Dude, that was great. Taiga was winning. And then she just got, you know, unfortunate 
Kawashima plot armor. Yep. Where Taiga has to get like, a leg yeah. cramp there. How, any any like, show we talk about, we're going to be talking about like plot, plot armor. armor. Cause well, there's yeah, so there's much so in it. There's so much in anime, all of these shows. Anime uses plot armor so fucking much. They use it pretty well. Like, yeah, it, usually it works. Uh, cough, cough, sword art online. <laughs> Cough, 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 that's a I joke. I am the only person who can dual wield. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Let's go. What are you talking about? Plot armor, baby. Hacks mode on. Hacks mode on. I have the fastest reflexes in the world. <laughs> Not what? <laughs> like, what Not are you hacks on mode. about, man? I died? No. <laughs> they not a... Nope. You My died. My girlfriend died? Yeah, right. <laughs> What? what? You literally <laughs> saw her HP bar hit zero. I'm pissed. Man, that show is so fucking funny, man. It's hilarious. Anyways, sorry. Swim Battle's so battle. great. Episode 9. Um, dream sequence was funny as fuck. Oh my gosh. That was dream hilarious. sequence was messed up. That's man. how you start an episode. That is a that, that, is, that is great. And it was then, so weird, too, because you're like, oh, this is odd. Why what does his mom look, look like a dog? Because if he's a dog, what? the mother has to be a dog. His children are literal puppies. Cold. Yeah, they, were, they had no human features about them, which was very weird that everybody which, else had human features. Except for freaking the, me out. You know, yeah. What the real question is? Why was Taiga also a dog? She's the master. Did you think that one through? No. Wait, I, was she a dog, or did she just have a dog on her was. head? I don't think. I don't think her nor Ryuji was a dog. What? Oh, and now we're checking Netflix. <laughs> Shut up! I've always been checking Netflix. Checking this every day of my goddamn life, son. But I, I swear, they gave her like... Yeah, no, they should have gave her a tail and ears. Hell yeah. So... <laughs> cat girl time. <laughs> it's, cat, no? Dog girl. That's not as cool sounding. Yeah, though. yeah, because Cole hates dogs, everybody. Oh yeah, I fucking hate dogs. That's <laughs> We just lost all of our subscribers. <laughs> my mom just uns- unsubscribed. Unsubscribed! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but my mom subscribed. <laughs> I'm the coolest kid on the playground. <laughs> That's what the fucking phone call was That's what the about. phone call was. I, I, I actually called my mother. She didn't call me. I said, Mom, listen, we're on the fourth <laughs> podcast uh, episode. Nobody subscribed yet. I need you. I need you here. And she said, oh, if I have to. It was the worst. It was the worst, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a, I also love the scene where, you know, Tiger's like, we'll have a badminton match. Yeah. And then, to figure out, I think it's assaulted by a fucking dog, so she has to dog, so she food. has to, yeah, literally, love that, hilarious. Oh my god, uh, this is also the episode where I kind of start noticing how like really well done scenery is, mm-hmm. and like just backgrounds in general. They're just really well done. They're extremely. Well They're done. really pretty. They're and I beautiful. and I don't think I realized until this episode that I was like, wow. <laughs> I also think it's really really funny too because when they're going to leave. They're like, hey, uh, Takasu's mom, sup? Also, we're leaving. And then she's like, what? <laughs> and then, because she's just out of it. And it's like, all right, here's a bunch of stuff for you to remember. And it's like, what? Where are you guys going? <laughs> it's like, God. <laughs> Do you guys not tell your mother where you're going? No, like... they literally just were telling her. They told her at the beginning. She's like, <laughs> uh, and they're like, we already told you. And she's like, oh, okay. And she passes out in the doorway. And I'm like, what? What? Because I'm like, it's sure, me coming she home works from a work lot. at like two in the goddamn morning. True. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, I mean, definitely, like, Amy says that they need to clean up the house, and Ryuji, like, starts smiling. Ryuji? And is... starts cleaning on his own. Ryuji gave the fucking dirtiest smile. The, like, I am going to clean this house. I'm going to clean the shit out I'm of this place. This, this brings place. me Holy joy. Holy crap. Imagine seeing Mold and being like, this brings me joy. It does. It brings him pure Bro, ecstasy. That but then is also, sad. I think that is housewife material. It is housewife material, and that's sad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god. What was like, I going to say? Something, something danger zone. I want to Thanks, cool. the spicy curry scene. It was actually, actually a cut to Archer, the animated show. If you guys didn't know. Cole didn't know. I did know. I watched Archer. You watch Archer? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Why have we never talked about Archer? I don't know. It's, it's fine. I kick your ass. <laughs> it's fine. Right, I watch it sometimes. It's meh. Yeah, some good episodes. It's fun. Some of it's just kind of like repeated jokes, though. Yeah, so it's fun. 
<laughs> just same same shtick. You don't need to be humor. funny. You just need to be vulgar like us, and you'll be funny. True, <laughs> true. But yeah, spicy curd scene. Thought that that was hilarious. You were jumping straight there. Yeah, I don't. Care. I was gonna talk about you know their whole plan. Yeah, but the plan's Garbo. The plan so, is Garbo. They just and they, they actually got scare her. They get re they get reverse planned. Well, that's the next. episode. They get bodied. Is that not the next? It episode? is. That's the next episode you find out. I also but like at the end of this episode you actually find out that like they're they're pranking them hard because mm-hmm. we put a wet dress on your bed Ooh, and also hair. Where did they find the hair? Seaweed. I don't know, they probably just ripped it out of Kushida's skull. <laughs> Amy, get over here. <laughs> you want to be bold anyways. <laughs> but like, oh, man. This is also where you get the line, like, why am I sitting so close to you in such a huge room? And I'm like, yeah, see, go. See, literally, Slick. this is episode nine, and she's already kind of understanding that she has these weird feelings for uh, Ryuji. Any... Uh, what, did I call it Cole? Did I say? God, episode yes. 10 is when God, it's just kind of like, you know... Yes. Mm. Deep down there, I don't need your fucking bullshit today. Okay, uh, look at me, I'm a French man. <laughs> so just... oh, I got to cut that fuck. <laughs> so I just say something fucked up, guys. <laughs> really fucked. Uh, episode 10 is like one of my favorites, though. I find it so funny. Episode 9? Episode 10. Oh, 10. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm moving on because fuck episode 9. Um, what the Midoran's fuck? kind of stupid. She like works at a restaurant, knows a lot about food, and just like grabs a chopped onion and just actually puts it into her goddamn eyeball. How stupid do you no, have to no. be? That's for the bit. I mean, yeah, I put a friggin' scotch bonnet pepper in my eye, but it was not on, like... Well, okay, cool. N- not because I was holding it, it was because I got the juice on my Did eye. Did you also think of the, about this, maybe? She's kind of, you know... Stupid? Awkward, because she's around her crush could be another thing because like when does she really do that other than when she's talking to ryuji when does she, she does ever do, she does do some weird shit a lot she does but she doesn't say or do a lot of the stuff unless she's next to ryuji i mean yeah she like doesn't... she talked about the whole ufo alien thing only to ryuji yeah. who's just some which is a great guy. scene i Beautiful love scene. that scene so much it's it's yeah, it's fucking perfect. Should we also talk about episode uh, nine a little bit again? Yeah. I wanted to say the funny scene where uh, Kawashima plays Ryuji by pretending that she's taking a shower. Yeah, that was funny. And then Taiga walks in and she <laughs> actually in, is. And I have ne- I didn't see Torador yet, but I saw this specific scene on like a YouTube video or something where Taiga walks downstairs and goes... She was all like boing and boing and badoing. <laughs> and I was like, what is badoing? <laughs> what is badoing? I do not understand. I thought she was calling her fat, to be honest. At first, <laughs> I was like, yo, that's rude as shit, dog. <laughs> rude as fuck, man. <laughs> no wonder she freaking threw a shoe at you. I like, still don't know what she's talking about. We're skipping that, anyway. True. Uh, I don't. I never want to know, Cole. Okay, it will, cool. It will, we won't talk about it. It will be awful. <laughs> okay, we won't talk about it. Anyway. After the podcast is done, you, me, alone, no, are going to talk about No, Connor, Connor, I'm not bringing it. I need I'm you not, to tell me I'm what it is. I'm not going to explain this to you, Connor. You God. have to figure it out for yourself. Um, Why did they let Tyga, like, in the water at the beach if she can't fucking swim? <laughs> she can swim at this point now, actually. Not well. She almost, she drowns like a puddle of water no, almost. No, no. Well, okay. It's because she just was an idiot and fell and just laid there. She can barely swim. She they should still actually, watch her. She actually swam to save Ryuji. Well, yeah, but like that's she a drain down rush. to pick him up. Yeah, but once you do it once, it's kind of like you know riding a bike where she did it once and then could ride a bike. Kinomura was like realistic. Even if you do something once, doesn't mean you can replicate it. Cool. When you walked for the first time... I fell over and I hit my head and I had to go to the hospital. Okay, very cool. <laughs> but then you knew how to walk, didn't you? No, I had to go to the hospital. So? And I couldn't fucking move for like four days. Alright, well, Cole was just a slow learner, apparently. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Connorland, man gets up, walks, now knows how to walk. Man gets up and talks, now knows how to yeah, yeah. construct Look at this full Sigmund. sentences. Look at this Sigmund Freud looking ass, being smart and shit. Being able to walk at a young age. He's the one that did the human development theory, right? He's the one who said every young man wants to have sex with his mother. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is Sigmund. That's Sigmund I, think I, I think I'm thinking of Erickson. 
you very well be. I don't know who Erickson is. <laughs> only, Eric the only Erickson? person I knew is Freud. Hmm? That's sad. You don't know who this person is? Say the name again. Eric Erickson. I he does the psych- heard it. psychosocial theory, you know. Cool. I'm I'll put. I'll put. I'll put up. Yet. I'll put. <laughs> you think I learned about this in business school? <laughs> yeah. Why not? For fuck's sake. Meanwhile. Also, I dude, I just love Cruciata. Eh, she's my least favorite of the group. She, before like a certain episode where she was like. Oh, look at me all feeling guilt and stuff. She was my favorite character. Because if, I just loved her. I don't, I thought she was I don't like awesome. how they use Kushieda to portray guilt. I think they do a better job with Amy. Do you know what I think they do? A better job with Kushieda in the beginning, and then Amy they should have just over. left her as Kushieda. They should have. They shouldn't have tried to make her you know, lose her mind. And start wearing bald caps to school because she couldn't throw a strike properly. <laughs> I guess throw a strike. <laughs> I mean, they, I guess she did throw a strike. They just cranked it, didn't they? They cranked it at her, and she caught it. Oh, but she dropped it. That's right, eh? Ha, loser. Actually, I no, never let that I think go. It was, uh, actually, I did a lot of times. Actually, it's a pretty hard play to pick, yeah. actually. I think it was a ground hit, bounced up, she caught in her mitt, was about to Oh, it was, it was, the, uh, change, it gonna... was the change to the bare mm-hmm. hand, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is kind of a tough play to pick. Uh, change saw. to the bare hand? When you take it out of the glove and you grab it with your bare hand to throw it to first base so you get the oh. fucker out, yeah. I, was I don't know like, why I'm saying I was fuck like, a lot. I'm sorry. I was like, is she it to a bare hand grip? What in the world is <laughs> she just throws from? off glove. <laughs> My, I remember my dad Throws telling me this up story. Ball, drop kicks it. I remember my dad was telling me this story about whenever he uh, he used to play ball, mm-hmm. and he played with this guy that had one hand, and he was a right fielder. So he would catch it, and he got so good at throwing his glove up and being able to grab the freaking ball out of it, and he would actually throw people out at home like that. And I was like, "What, <laughs> dude? I can't throw people out at home now with two arms. What? <laughs> That's insane." I thought you were gonna say he would, he just straight up plays with one foot. And just has the other foot and then like jumps back, catches it, and then just whips it when he's on the ground. Because that would be nuts. That would be kind of insane. Just had a glove on his foot? Think about it. You could manage that, right? Anyways, um, <laughs> as much as I like Amy in this episode, she's also toxic as hell. Of course she is. She's, like, she's oh, toxic always. pretending to be lost so she can be alone with Ryuji a yeah. bit longer. And talk about him. And also, this is when Kawashima's like... Like you can you can really tell that she likes her Yuji. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like, bad for uh, Kawashima. I kind of feel bad for Kawashima at the end of the show because she's the one that gets like screwed over. She doesn't even have to get like her last words with Ryuji or like get to say how she feels. He knows nothing. It's very true. She just bottles it up. I feel terrible for her at the well, end of this show. She got what she wanted, technically. I mean, because, she wanted friendship, no, mostly. Well, she wanted uh, to no, people she, to like her for who she is. Cool. She got rejected. Yeah. By Ryuji. Straight up. Like, you remember how Kushida rejected yeah. Ryuji? It was like that, because... And Connor screwed up the podcast again. Anyways. I did it! That was my mother! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I know how it feels. Mothers, they just don't understand. Yeah, we just lost our script subscriber. Okay, anyway. <sighs> just lost my mother again. She came back to listen. She's gone now. They made fun of her. Um, I like the conversation between Amy and Ryuji though, when they were talking about like just loneliness in general. Mm-hmm. Well, that was just that was a nice scene to throw into here. I mean, it's understandable. Like, sorry, which two characters? Amy and Ryuji. Yeah, because they both are kind of lonely. One doesn't have a dad, and the other one is literally just alone. I guess so, eh? Like, she doesn't really have... She has no friends. And she was I mean, she stalked. has friends. She has Ryuji. But none she has, like, Kitamura. Her. Oh, I was thinking, uh, when when you said friends with air quotes, because you guys can't see that, because he's, he's stupid. <laughs> he doesn't realize nobody can see his air quotes. So, literally, it's like, okay, she has friends, but those people who she's all fake towards, are they really your friends? They don't understand. Those people? No. I don't, I'm not talking about those people. Exactly. But then again, even if she has just, like, just Kitamura, she just now found Ryuji. True, yeah. Just now. And I'd say even just now found Taiga. 
I mean, at the end, she's also talking to Kushida. Yeah, but that's a little further. I mean, she does assault yeah. her with a rock, but... But who wouldn't? Am I right, fellas? <laughs> I also agree. Fuck Kushida. Oh, that's not $500. That's 550000 <laughs> <laughs> And now they know how much your insurance costs. Anyways, episode 11. They didn't have to know his insurance, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking a second mortgage on the house. <laughs> anyway. Episode 11. Here goes my paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> This is where we like the the cultural fest, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I like how the culture festival was amazing. That's like the best arc in this entire show. It's so good. It's so. It's so. It's funny, and but it's so shit, sad the at the dad, same time. Yeah. And what the hell, Kushi? This is when I stopped liking Kushi as much. Yeah, because I'm like, say something. Say Let my man Ryuji know. Don't just rip on my boy. He doesn't know. Okay. Like, like, you're just, just letting like, him go down the same path you did, and that path that you went down literally you feel like shit broke about it. you. Yeah. And you weren't friends with Taiga for, like, a long time because of it. Because you just... Let it, my it, man know. It, it was awful. Oh my God. Like, I, I blame Kushida. This is when 100%. Kushida started to just drop as yeah. my favorite character. Yeah. No, because she's, like, my... Like, she's one of my least favorite. Yeah, no. See, I like Kushida up until, like, this point, because... I was like, oh, I'm on the Kushida fan fan train. Then it's like, oh, now Kushida, we get to see a little bit more about her, and you're like, <sighs> she's kind of like an ass, actually. Kind of just stupid idiot. Okay, so Haruta's plan for like the whole cosplay maid cafe thing, mm-hmm. as much as that is like mathematically correct mm-hmm. to get a majority vote and everything, how does a school allow that? How do they allow, like, all those classes to do that? Well, because it's just cosplay. It's, it, maid cafes and stuff are very prominent in Japan. Yes, I know like. that, but, like, so it's... do you want children doing it? You want school children doing it? Okay, cool. This is not Maid Sama. It's... I just referenced that show again. Cool. God damn Think it. Think about it like this, though. This is a school cultural festival where only really... There's only school kids it's just kids cool i think that's the issue <laughs> and but i mean there's i guess there's also parents somehow but it's just, i don't know parents. i just found that odd maybe it's just it was, different uh, difference of culture it's but definitely a difference of culture very odd well then again we would never have a culture festival culture festival we have culture festivals they're different but they're culture festivals i've never once had a culture festival i'm not gonna make the joke i have in my head because people will get mad anyways i right, cool we don't have at our school we don't have clubs at most we had like yeah, we didn't really like have clubs it was just, I, I went to like we didn't even have I mean I like, went to like a fairly not poor but like mm-hmm. it was a lower like, yeah I, I went to it because there wasn't a lot of people meanwhile I'm at because like, look at me Catholic school I don't know if you guys know this but I go to because currently enlisted into a Catholic school really weird really different than Public schools. Yada, I'm not yada. going to talk about my opinion. Kind of like Taiga, which you're, I was like, oh, Taiga also went to a Catholic school. I can see why she's like that. Yeah, I went to a, <laughs> I went to a Catholic elementary school. Mm-hmm. There's a reason I didn't go back. Uh, so the reason I didn't go back is because I wasn't allowed. I, I beat <laughs> a lot of people just like Taiga. I just I bought a fucking bokken sword to school and kicked the shit out of everyone. Kicked the shit out of the sisters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they couldn't fight back. The god sign on the man. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Father, I'm gonna lay the beat down on you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for that one. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Ryuji, like, kind of needs to butt out of people's family business. Like, I understand he's like, oh, yeah, I don't have a father, yeah. so you should talk to yeah. yours. See, this you is the thing, though. You don't know shit, doc. This is the thing, though. He realizes this way faster than most humans would realize this, because... Tortor's on like, Tortor's like human life on hyperspeed. Yeah, it's 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 like so a, when he realizes this, he's like, wait, no, I just don't have a dad, so I think you should connect with your dad. But he's probably not a bad guy. Probably a good reason you shouldn't. And then Taiga's like, now that I'm right and he's wrong, I'm gonna now go try. And then you're like, Taiga, no, you should have just been like, screw you, dad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We have to leave in half an hour, and we are not even halfway done the amount of episodes. 
What is it to leave in half an hour? It's 5.30. Yeah. Don't we have to pick someone up at 6? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Connor. Connor. I mean, we could end recording and then start a new recording and then put them together. Nah. We'll just keep going. We'll just get my mother to pick them up. <laughs> Guys, I know. I'm an asshole. Plug <laughs> champ. High five. <laughs> Virtual high five. Virtual high five. COVID times. Um, <laughs> true. Actually, cool. Can we high five right now? No. So it sounds like we're high fiving the, the crowd. Let's, let's high five the audience. Okay. Cool. Anyways, on. I like the the teacher's rant in this episode. That's something. No, I'm not touching your hand. Um, and Daya has her dad as stupid bastard. Stupid bastard on her on phone. Her phone. Yeah. That's brilliant. It is brilliant. It's really <laughs> funny too. That shows like how pissed off she is. She. I mean, I would be too. I mean, yeah, I'm, like, I don't blame her. Cra- I'm just saying. Her I like parents that. are a mess. And they're her- worse than Ryuji's mom. Well, I like Ryuji's mom. You like miss shelter my child to oblivion. I mean, miss. I'm going to make him have no motivation to pursue anything in the future. I mean, she tries. What does she try, Cole? Stripping? By making him feel guilty about existing. It's a bad time, Cole. It's a bad time all around. I will say, uh, Tiger's dad, hell of a businessman. His business went under. <laughs> what the hell do you mean? No, but hell of a the way that he like talks, you know, the way he talks the talk, and the way he uh, gets Ryuji emotions mm-hmm. going. He yeah, of course, his it. business failed. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me the first time. What, see, what a businessman for see, a failing You know business. why his business failed. Because I wasn't there to say that. Business student number one. Cole, you're just like Ryuji's dad. <laughs> you can talk the talk, but when it's GPA. time to show up... <laughs> I'm, I'm passing Also, I like, class, I like how I said the wrong name. I meant to say Tiger's dad, but both apply. Both do kind of apply. When it's time to show up. Oh, Yikes. I mean, I guess, if you, by the way, if you haven't seen Torador yet, at this point in the show, we don't know that Taiga, or, uh, Ryuji's dad isn't dead, but just left. <laughs> Although we can extrapolate that information, unless you're cold. <laughs> yeah. because, and I have to, like, literally watch it. Yeah, to literally make... has to watch it for the second time. To <laughs> realize I missed it the first time. Yeah, to realize, oh, yeah, he <laughs> is just alive and just left them like an ass. Oh, my God. But like Ryuji's kind of an ass hat in this episode. Just like Ryuji gets pissed off at Taiga, throws her against a fucking wall. Ryuji has been an ass hat for the entire culture festival, and it like, sucks because I like Ryuji, but he's just so dumb in this like, situation. Another thing that like the school allows—I know I kind of I made a point and then I skipped that point, but it's okay. Um, how does the school like allow a wrestling show done by students? Isn't what? there like health and safety regulations against that? Canadian once. I, we weren't once. even allowed to play lacrosse. Yeah, no, we were barely allowed to play football at our Catholic school. Oh, we weren't allowed football. Exactly. We were absolutely not allowed. We weren't this allowed. We weren't allowed football. Messed up. We weren't allowed rugby. We, we weren't weren't allowed, allowed rugby. Spread. We were not and allowed female rugby. rugby. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> they just went way harder than the male rugby. That's Actually, true. We didn't have a male rugby team. We only had a female one, and they were insane. They would like rip each other to shreds. There was one girl who just broke her leg. They just well, another girl just like I think like stomped on it and just snapped the girl's leg. And I was like, "You're insane. You're actually nuts. Like who does this?" And you want to know God. what's probably you want to know the funniest part? She probably got her leg healed up and then went back. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, she probably she started, started playing, playing again. again. Yeah, insane. I don't know how they they just do that. They're crazy. Uh, man. Continuing with the culture festival in episode twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, like, Ryuji could have at least, like, asked what was going on before, you know, getting Taiga to talk to him again. Like, she, he could have asked, like, for details. Yes. Because if she told him exactly what happened, he probably would have been like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, he's a lying son of a bitch. Yeah. Which, I, like, I guess, you know, it's understandable. Taiga was, like, way too embarrassed or just mad to talk about her family situation. And... Kushida actually feels at fault for that. Yeah. Because uh, Taiga never talks about her family at all after she the whole Kushida situation. That? But Ryuji needs to know yeah. in this situation. He can't just not know. And then he just doesn't know. 
because nobody tells him. There's two people in the entire school who can tell him because the dad's not going to tell him, but there's two goddamn people. One is Kushida, and one is Taiga. Taiga's not a say. It's not up to Taiga. It's up to the best friend who made that goddamn mistake and also literally called out and said, hey, it's a bad situation. She needs to snap out of this. Not, yeah. You know? Like, what the hell? Why aren't, don't why, you look why, at Why Ryuji? did she bother with Ryuji and not go up to Taiga and been like, we've been through this, you dumbass? Yeah, we, you and me literally... I've had this exact situation happen before. Yeah. But instead of, like, you know, being smart and, you know, telling her that it's stupid or telling Ryuji what's going on, she just, like, lets it happen. Yeah, <laughs> like, and I think it and just gets mad. Crazy, because she goes to such lengths to, like, set up the whole, uh... Because she's playing the bad guy. Yeah. And she wants to switch with... Uh, Dumchi for one a single time mm. she memorizes the rules for that one as well just so she can you know make her father proud That's... and yet doesn't even show up doesn't even show up man speaking of that uh freaking emo Ryuji there with the fucking eyeliner and the hair slick back hair oh my that gosh that looks sick as fuck he was cra- I wish he kept the eyeliner that's what I'm saying I'm like he would have been terrifying bro. man he, he looks like, like corpse. every like, he looks like the basis of every emo man <laughs> <laughs> thanks Cole like doesn't have to get up or anything just puts on the eyeliner so he's involved yep. and he's just happy he's just there he's happy to fucking be there <laughs> like guys you can hear my fill in this fucking song look I think <laughs> it's really funny. Do you know what I think is really weird too? Uh, Ryuji just straight up argues with Kusheda about yeah. the whole father. Yeah, thing. they got which, intense, which is really fucking weird. Well, I mean, I get, I get, it, like he lost his father, so he doesn't want her to do the same. Yeah, so he gets mad about this it. This is Kusheda, the crush. Yeah. Like, and he is just so. Which I thought this was a great scene. Do you want to know why? Because this finally took. Kushida off of a pedestal that Ryuji was putting her on. Yeah. And I was like, finally, they can talk like yeah. actual human beings. And what do they do at that time? They <laughs> yell at each other. <laughs> well, they, they used that. It's a other, start. They used the time. It is a start. It, you gotta start with somewhere, you know? Uh, I do like the, uh, the whole wrestling show thing, though. I thought that was really funny. I don't understand how it would be allowed by the school, but I think it's funny. I thought it was amazing because I... Adored the whole fact that it was a oh. that it was a uh, it's it's a wrestling play. Yeah, it's they, awesome. And the man, one of the people, just wrote a script. One of the students, and it wasn't. And it was that a funny bad. student who couldn't read Shakespeare. Yeah, like, but he. Well, I guess and he wrote a play. I just the reason he probably can't read that well is probably because they were learning English. Now I feel stupid. <laughs> you do feel stupid. I feel a little stupid too. I didn't catch on to that. Because I was like, I think I was watching the sub. So I was like, hold on. I th- Why is he speaking English here? I don't think it even clicked in my brain. I think I, I think I'm, I watched it sub for a bit. Mm-hmm. And I think I switched like back and forth depending on if I was watching other mm-hmm. sh- shows or not. And I was just too lazy to switch back. Because usually what I do is I watch it dubbed and then I watch it subbed. Mm-hmm. Just for consistency's sake. Yeah, I just watch sub and dub uh, interchangeably because I don't know. I want to I want to check out and make fun of the dub actors, but I like the dub actors in this one. Yeah, the dub actors actually really good in this. The dub actors were nuts. Pretty good. Pretty good. You know what else is good? Not the not the, the, the intro song. The first not intro, the intro song. song. The intro song. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it, it, it's it's good. So guys, the second the one's kind of good, but the first intro one, song, awesome. I did not enjoy. I thought it was awesome. It's probably pretty good. A lot of you probably like it. I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was awesome. I, loved, I it. loved it. I remember hearing it for my first time with my mother, and she was questioning me, like, why don't you like it so much? And I'm like, I just don't. It's just <laughs> annoying. I think it's great. It was loud and not in a good way. Yeah, right? It's not awesome. in a good way. It's, I thought it was great. Not in a good way. It's super overcompressed. It's very, you know, Japanese. It's very Japanese. The second pop. one, though. Ooh. It's very J-pop. Very good. Like... Which mm, one? The first one. Yeah, I can understand that, but I'm more listening to J-pop slash rock at the moment. Yeah, I'm, so I'm understandable. I'm way much more vibing with, you know, classic 
have instruments that exist <laughs> and not just like weird synth oh, no. stuff. Oh no, Connor's becoming an elitist. Oh no. I've, I've oh up, no. I've upset many people <laughs> oh, just no. now. But this is where J-pop I call thing. back to what I said about I'm, I'm going to talk about the school council president. Oh yeah. How she always looks down on people and how her just bitchy ass attitude but in the end she turns out to be not a terrible person. It's just Satsuki Karyun. It's <laughs> it's the same character, just one of them can walk up buildings. <laughs> you know, guys, Cole actually said this to me, I think. He said something about... He, he, he mentioned Satsuki Karyun walking up buildings a lot. And I wasn't sure how he was going to implement it into the podcast. Because he wanted to compare someone to Satsuki Karyun from Torador and Kill a Kill. And I was very confused. I was like, what, you, what is he going to do? And I chose school council. He chose they look they look similar. They act similar. At first, actually, I thought Kawashima and, and Prez were the same person. Really? I just was. I think you're dumb. No, well, I, I was I was very confused because I saw I actually saw episode eight and nine, and I think yeah, just eight and nine before I saw any of the other episodes because I was watching it with a uh, different friend actually. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So I when I, I saw blue hair chick. And then you saw darker blue hair trick. Like slightly darker. And it confused your and brain. they both looked mad. <laughs> and I was like, understandable. And Taiga was like bat- butting heads with her. So I was like, oh, it's college team. Yeah, Taiga butts heads with like almost every girl That's in the true. show except for like, you know, Minorine. Yeah. And even then, they even had that then, one fight. They do have some fights because, you know, the movie's perfect. Except for Amy. Shut up. <laughs> I need you to... I need you to Quit fangirling Amy. <laughs> um, I like how we, in episode 13, we'll move on just for time's sake. Uh-huh. Um, the way Ryuji talks about like the, the dress he made and how proud he is of it with the little bow. He's so happy that he was able to make it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I wish I was so uh, happy. Did we really talk about the... <laughs> Thanks, Cole. <laughs> catch on you. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll probably cut that. Anyways. I want to go over the father stuff a little more. Though, oh god, because it was sad. It was, it was depressing. Really, really it was, depressing. This is the actually the episode where I think I got the most sad. Mm-hmm. Was, um, whenever she's alone on stage, and the dad doesn't even show up, mm-hmm. and I was just man. <laughs> also, can we talk about the teacher? Because as the play's going on, right, she just know, like very freaks sad. out. She freaks out because they're about to cut her red thread of fate. Yeah. You know, finding her boyfriend, and she's like, "Oh my god, I'm never gonna find a man." And <laughs> she's literally just, a just storms the stage, and then they have to get a bunch of children to be fair. To carry her their away. improv skills were are, nuts, were insane. If I was in that situation, and I was, I would have any panicked. character, I would have been like, "What do I do?" Takes out the size, <laughs> I have the size. ready for a fight, <laughs> dude. And their actual like maneuvering on stage was kind of nuts. Because Tai was just they have such actually, a small stage. Also, that Tai was actually just trying to fight them. Yeah. The fight Kawashima, and that's what made it kind of work. Because Kawashima did like a back kick or whatever, uh, and they just had like two people hold her and like flip her around. And it's like okay, understandable. I was thinking but about also, it. Also, Taiga just did. Mm. She just like moved like Taiga, which was terrifying because she could just jump around the place yeah. and kick like an animal. I found this funny though. Is that. You know, whenever Amy's, like, you know, breaking Tyga's back there, whenever she has her, like, yeah. up in the air, and she says, oh, you get to do this to me after. Mm-hmm. Can she even do that? Because Amy's a lot taller than Tyga. Does she have the strength to bend Amy that much? Have you seen how strong Tyga is? But, like, she, because of the height difference, she needs to, like, really bend her to the point where her spine probably won't allow that. Okay. Well, I don't think she's going to go that advanced. All she has to do is bend her a little and you get the gist. You don't need to actually I mean, turn her into like, like fold her like a piece of paper, Cole. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's what I did. <laughs> what? Black belt, buddy. Let's go. Oh, of course. Yeah, Cole's out here folding people left and right. <laughs> Tur- told them, turning them into origami, dude. Look at him. No, I never paper did that. I just ended up with nerve damage. It's <laughs> But like... Okay, okay, back to episode 13. Mm-hmm. Gotta move on. Um, why is Amy allowed to wear that costume and have a whip? 
<laughs> You're talking about the whole MC thing? How is that allowed? The answer is, cool, just go with it. <laughs> the answer is, you just need to go with it. But like, go with the flow, dog. That whole, like, beauty pageant thing, which, by the way, I don't... Mm-hmm. I feel like at schools, that's really, like, calling people out, but whatever. Um, the clapping scene, where, like, Ryuji gets everyone going to clap mm-hmm. for her. Ryuji starts oh. clapping, Kushida starts clapping, but the only my two soul. people clapping. Hurts because he my realizes soul. she's alone up there. Yeah, that's and depressing. Even after the whole clapping thing, he still realizes, wait, she's alone. Even though she's in first place and all these people are cheering for her, she's still alone. I gotta go up. And then, before he can do anything, she, something happens. She falls over and then she, goes in a bag? <laughs> Which I'm still No, no, no. That was that's before. Is that before? That's before oh. he, he goes up to the stage. Something happened. I think either the lights went out or she just like ran away or something. I think the lights went out. Oh no! It was because the the student council like shut off the lights mm. and then they all appeared on stage yep. and then they're like, "There's going to be a race," which is the stupidest yep. shit. Ever. Uh, man only race. Let's go. And then it's like, but Kushi is joining. <laughs> yeah, we never said men only except for when we did. <laughs> except, for when... except for when we said all boys. We didn't say only boys, just all boys. Like, what? And it's like, yeah, they get to crown the, the queen of whatever. And then it was amazing because they're racing, right? And Takasu was like, I have to win this no matter what. And I was like, man, let's Takasu's go. going to murder someone. I was like, he's actually going to kill someone. And then he had pulled down. Yeah. Whoever did that stupid. They played dirty. And he played dirtier when he... <laughs> he just grabbed people. someone and just like chucked him back. Yeah, no, <laughs> he straight up... And then he... Jumps on top of the crowd and runs on them. And then, like, jumps onto, like, a fence and runs on the fence. And I'm like, dude, the fence has a diameter of, like, half of your foot. How are you running on this? You're not taking account. In, you're not taking something into account. Adrenaline? He's Miss Housewife. He's Miss Housewife. <laughs> he has to approve. He has the mistress. To, this is easy for him. He's, this is he the knows easiest how to walk, thing he's ever done. He needs to be able to walk on air he can to walk serve on his water, family. basically. <laughs> No. He like, this He's is nuts. easy. You give him a solid set. <laughs> it could be a fishing wire for all we care. <laughs> Man can tightrope walk with a piece of floss. He's nuts. <laughs> Dental floss. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but like, whoever pulled him down, what were you expecting? Yeah. He's gonna kick. I mean, he was ass. destroying everybody. Oh yeah. yeah he was like he was crushing shit. it. He was going in and running first, and then they're like, "Oh, we got, we took out Takasu." Ha ha. Yeah, for about a solid five seconds before he gets up and before you be made him more them. pissed off. Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> absolutely obliterated. But Man. and then even when he's like going to the front, right, and he's he's racing, yada yada. It's him and Kushida, and they're like they're doing pretty all right. And then I think Kushida gets a little bit ahead, and then it's like haha, sprinter team shows up. Two men just come up, and they're like. Foom, 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 in perfect sprinter form, which is, I was like, where were they this whole race? By the way, why does he sprint a lap around the school? Mm-hmm. Isn't it like a lap around the school or something? Yeah. How do you sprint a lap around the school? You're dead half Adrenaline cool. <laughs> we're like steroids. <laughs> nah, they're... Nah, because... Cole, think better right there. Like this, right? This school's probably not... I could sprint a lap around my school. You want to sprint a lap around I your could... school? Try. It would the, only You get take, halfway around and you'll start vomiting. You just have to sprint for a minute. Straight. It, and it, even then... No, I, this school is going to take longer than a minute. Have you seen how long he was it running is pretty for? Big, but it's a massive. I, oh, yeah, and he also jumped on top of people. Cool, there's a lot of irregular stuff happening. You can't True. be nitpicking yeah. each and every one. <laughs> but he runs with Kushida and he's kind of slowing down at the end. And Kushida just kind of destroys him. Because, I don't know, Kushida just... Like, was she, did she go from the beginning after everybody and just whoop them? I think a little bit Or did after. she just straight up cut through the middle? She may have was just like cut through. Honestly. Easy money. I think, no, didn't she like sneak in with the crowd or something? That would make sense. I, I think I remember that. Maybe I'm wrong. But but man, and then she gets in, the sprinters come over, throw him down, then throw her. And then she just gets up and gets assaults up, them. Throw, someone throws a softball? She, she throws a softball. Well, she they assaulted just her first. him out. They assaulted her first. Like, she assaults him back. This is a lot of assault talk. There's for this a lot podcast. of us. There's a because there's a lot of like unreported assault counts That's here. That's true. And even like, well, it's understandable in like something like Kill a Kill because 
it's super irregular, and yeah. it's like, if you assault someone to kill a kill, who cares? Because it's literally called kill a kill. Yeah, and they're literally just trying to kill each other. Kinda. Yeah. But, uh, trying to kill clothes, meanwhile, but... yeah, meanwhile, in this one, it's like, oh, this is just a, a school anime, and people are beating the shit out of each other. Why not? But, man, it's, it's weird, because then he, like, Kushida's like, don't worry, I'll take care of them, and double drop kicks or whatever. Oh, yeah, she, like, does the whole sideways, so it's, like, takes yeah. out all four. And takes out four guys, and then I'm like, slick. And then it's like, run, run, Ryuji, go, go to her, yada, yada. Run. And then Ryuji just walks over, grabs Kushida's hand, and is like, let's go. And I was like, dude, Ryuji? But just sort of passes them. I was like, Ryuji is golden. He's a champion. He's a champion among men. He's a legend. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so let's just talk a little louder, Cole. <laughs> How's it hanging? Okay, uh, should we move on to the next episode, or are we going to talk about the little fire dancing scene thing? That I, was I, cute. I, I like the line where they're like, we hold hands, we look into each other's eyes, and we just spin until we get tired. Yeah, we spin until we get dizzy, because that's, that's just how, how it dance. be. Because I don't know fucking how to. I mean, true. I don't either. But, man, I really like that episode. That was really adorable, and... It was just really well done because yeah. everybody got to kind of go with who they like. I mean, obviously I mean, not Kawashima or or Kitamura because you know, the president oh, just kind of dipped it's because true. you know she she had to go film a scene for Kill the Kill real quick. <laughs> Satsuki Kuryu, yeah. man, it, it's it just was. It was cute. Scene. Not I it. it. Did oh my gosh, hold on. At this point, did Kitamura confess? Not yet, no. Not yet, okay. I don't know. It's a little later, doesn't isn't it? Um, like in episode uh, 14? 15, I think. 15? But this is Palm Top Tiger of Happiness, episode was 14. So yes. it didn't, there, there was a scene, right, where Kitamura was like, hey, yo, uh, if I, and like he pets her, and he's like, I wish you'd make me happier, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is this the Palm Top Tiger of Happiness episode? This, episode 14 is, yes. This is also the one where they get pictures. Oh, that's right, yeah. And she gets a picture of Kitamura and puts it in her in her student handbook. And you're like, weird. <laughs> yeah. Odd. Odd, but okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, and this is also the one where Kushida shows up and it's like, look at all these pictures I'm getting. Yada, yada, blah, 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 like a million photos. Meanwhile, Ryuji's literally just got like one. And it's of him and her. And it's like, ooh... Kushida, shoot your shot, you dumbass. Well, no, she feels guilty. She wants oh to leave God. him for Taiga because she thinks she's at that much of a bomb. You want to know, like, <laughs> what would have happened if Taiga and Ryuji just never got together? How much of a dumbass would Kushida be? <laughs> I think they would have got together way before. Taiga she... didn't exist. They would have got together, like, episode four. Like, and Taiga... Kitamura Kushida is a would have cloud. been... Blonde for the rest of his life? Probably. Because there would have never been the whole let's kick the shit out of the press. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assault the I'm going president. to assault the president of our school. God. I cannot wait to fight her in kendo when I have a Boken sword and then we just I I lose my sword because she's a kendo master apparently. And then I just beat her with my fist. <laughs> <laughs> this turns from a kendo match into a I'm gonna just just kill I'm you. Going to, I'm going to kill I'm you. I'm going to assault you. With a lot. Also, um, are we talking about Tiger says like that single lady line right when the teacher's outside of the room and she just gets super fucking depressed? <sighs> Poor teacher. Man, she's, she's, a, she, she's a character we haven't talked a lot about, but she's, she she's like just is, a nice little side character. That's she's what a nice she does. Side character where she that's kind of her point. She's just single. That's it. Yeah, and she's a teacher, I guess. Remind you of she, someone? Single teacher? No. Single. And that's it. You don't have to actually harass me here <laughs> on live air. And by live, I mean recorded air. But... Recorded air. And not on air because I would mean TV, I'm pretty sure. That's why I said recorded air, Cole. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Yeah, this is okay. So this is the Palm Top Tiger Happiness episode. Mm -hmm. But the one kid who wants the favor, he just, like, assaults Taiga by throwing a can of coffee at her. Yeah. 
what did you expect? Like, I know, oh, I freaked out. So you throw a can of coffee at him? Yep, and then she chases him. Like, and then guess what happens? He becomes happy. He gets the girl, actually. Man, imagine if it was that easy. Yeah, imagine if I just had to go up to a small midget. <laughs> and she just had to kick the shit out of me. <laughs> and then I'm happy. <laughs> Cole's kind of dying over here. I didn't think it was that funny, but Cole just cannot believe what I just said. We're like two hours in. I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm losing my brain cells. Oh point. my god. Um, I didn't even see a photographer that entire arc. But yet, there's these a uh, whole bunch yeah, of these there's pictures. There's a lot of pictures. I guess I'm a like, photography damn. club, right? They're just always taking photos. I guess. I, but you don't see them like at all. That's also true. But also, can we talk? I forgot to mention this. Sedobux. Oh yeah. How have we not gotten sued yet? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great line, <laughs> and that's all they need to say. And I was like, sold. So the, they perfect. really can expend the thing. I mean, our the name of our show. Our podcast. Oh, if we don't get sued, I'll be really happy, but we probably will. I'm not going to get sued. Guys, of anime and weebs, completely different than anything you've ever seen. I mean, if of monsters and men can get away with it, so can we. What are you saying? We're copping off monsters and men? Cool, cut it. <laughs> cool, you can't say that. <laughs> We're not copying them, obviously. Nope. And neither are we of mice and men. <laughs> just to be clear. The books nor the band. Set the record straight. We're just using the word of... And then our own word, you know, of anime that we're, you know, reviewing. Uh, and then we're using... It's the parody. Conjunction. And we are under fair use because it is parody. Literally, I wouldn't say... Well, again, it makes sense. But also, what's the fair use verdict thing? So what article is that? I don't know, fucking 13 or some shit? <laughs> article 13 <laughs> is like the one that the UK wanted to administer because they wanted to ban memes forever. <laughs> Yeah, is that, that, does that that's not, Article 13. Does that, not, does that not fall under fair use? How am I supposed to know? I don't fucking know. Anyways, episode... I thought it was just like... Uh, no I'm pretty meme. sure... I'm pretty sure Minorin makes like a Magic the Gathering reference at one point. What? Yeah. I didn't pick up on that. What'd she say? Uh, she fucking says... Oh, like, she says something I, about cards. Yeah. I, I thought she was making a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Oh, it might have been Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, I don't fucking could, know. It's all the same to me. I was like... But I was like, let's go Kushida. Because I like Kushida. Too bad she just sucks. Too bad she's, half the show. Too bad she's trash for most of the show. Sucks. Like I like how sucks. I like how Amy talks to her about like the pictures. Mm. Yeah, no, Kitamura gets dumped in episode fourteen. Kitamura gets for dumped. Sure. Yeah. Oh, show. Sure. Okay. Uh, but anyways, pictures. Um. Yeah, the way she she talks to Minoru about pictures and like, oh, it's just a picture. They take my picture all the time. Yada yada yada. I kind of I think that's one of her more interesting lines. I think that's kind of. You know, it's, it shows something about Amy that we don't always see. But also, I just want to point out, like, Kushida was like, this was when she finally clicked, was like, Ryuji really likes me, and she was kind of like, I like Ryuji, you know? I feel guilty. I feel guilty. And meanwhile, so then Kawashima comes in and is like, yo, it's just a picture. Why are you freaking? And then she's like, it is kind of just a picture, but meanwhile in her head she's like, there's so much more, you know. Anyway, she, she had like this, like it's so much more than just a single picture. It's, it's just a crazy moment. It's fun, you know, yada yada. I like this guy, but Koshima just kind of ruins it. That's why Koshima pisses me off. I think that just I like it more because she trashes on Kushida, and that makes me happy. Another thing about Amy is I like that scene where she's at the grocery store with Ryuji. Mm-hmm. Oh, and like, pork cutlet. Like, and like gives her some of the some of yeah. the pork. Yeah, because he's literally just like, oh, and the calls her a kid. Yeah, yeah. And she's the only one that was a like, good scene. Damn. But meanwhile, I'm like, let's go, Ryuji. It was a great scene. Yeah, Ryuji. you trash on her. <laughs> yeah, insult her and have her like it. <laughs> like what? Oh my god. Calls her a kid, and she's like, oh my gosh, this is my man insulting me. <laughs> See, that, I love him. That would be such a toxic relationship. Sounds like I shouldn't have said that, damn. But I hope your girlfriend doesn't watch, Cole. I doubt she will. <laughs>
<laughs> You're gonna regret saying that. I probably will. It's fine. We just talk our mind out here. I, I just, I just say what's going on. That's it. Uh, they really start off episode fifteen with Kinemura having like a fucking mental breakdown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy shit! The, the thing I don't understand though is that like Kinemura bleaches his. Hair. I just want to point this out as well. It's not even just Kinemura. It's everybody except for like Tiger and Ryuji. Yeah, everyone's just Both losing their crushes. Their mind. I'm so fucking depressed. <laughs> I'm so everything in my life could not be worse. Everything is changing around me, and it's terrifying. I mean, yeah, I mean, change is terrifying, but like, the, the, the Kira, Kitamura dyes his hair, bleaches his hair, yada yada, whatever. Why do they make that big of a deal out of it? Like, yeah, it's different. It's odd for a character like him, but like, is dyed hair just not popular there in Japan? <laughs> It is a sign of you are going through a hard time. Like, you know how the, the thing is like, oh, dyed my hair, it's mental breakdown? It's like that, but times 20. Especially because he's very... Intense. He's still straight-laced, but he's, he has fun with it, you know, obviously, because he goes around shirtless sometimes. Yeah, but he, not just shirtless sometimes. <laughs> we beach talk house. in Beach House episode? <laughs> beach House episode. Uh, I forgot we... I forgot to mention that. I, I just avoided it. <laughs> I didn't I want to didn't, talk about it. I, I wanted to talk about it because... Uh, we're not talking about well, it. I just wanted to say it was funny. It was funny. It was hilarious. It was pretty And funny. Ryuji always just, like, moves at the speed of light. He's always in the perfect Saving place. everyone all the time. Yeah. My my guy. Also, how dumb can you be to be to drop your towel? He is kind of stupid sometimes. That's true. Like, as much as he's, like, very intelligent and, like, you know, student council president and people have a lot of respect for him, he, he does some dumb shit. <laughs> like, a lot of the time. Let me dye my hair. Let me dye my hair. Blonde. But Blonde. I just don't see how it's that big of a deal. I it's, feel like it's kind of... It's a like different culture. Yeah I, f- yeah, I think you're right about different that Different social, uh, like, uh, standards and yada yada. Like, but this no, is the first time we see him, thing. like, hang out at Ryuji's house. He had to have a mental breakdown to go see him outside of school. Mm-hmm. Well, they hang out. Tip- no, it's not that. They used to hang out a lot. It's literally just because of the student council that they hadn't been hanging True, out. True, yeah. But since yeah, he just mentioned that, doesn't he? Since he quit. Yeah, he mentioned that. He's like, I haven't been over it since note on I... the ceiling? Yeah, it's homo. <laughs> uh, I'll take a picture for all the people watching. <laughs> But there's a picture, there's a sticky note on I my ceiling. I just noticed that. I was just looking at that. I'm like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? There's a sticky note on my ceiling that is literally just Homer Simpson. I, my eyesight is not good enough for me to be able to like see what's on it, but I see like something hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, no, it, it's Homer Simpson. Oh my which god. Which is a great, uh, great role into uh, this next thing we're going to talk about. Homer? <laughs> I was just going to say blonde. Blonde, yeah. I mean, you know, yellow. The color yellow. I like how like he goes over and Tiger's there and she like tries to cook him the eggs, but he burns it. But she burns it, but it's still fine. Yeah, like, and he's he trying to make her it happy. and laughs and enjoys it, which I think is really funny because she, no matter how badly she messes up cooking, all the men in her life go out of their way to be like but that. They're was all delicious. this is housewife. <laughs> they all win. They all win. Um. This is also where we get the like the scene where Taiga freaks out and talks about how useless she is. Mm-hmm. That one hurt my soul a little bit. I was like, damn, I feel that. Holy shit. It's understandable. I, I, I that, sometimes. that related to me so hard. Cole, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we're doing great. This is this is a sad episode. A sad, this all is, of this is a sad show. I mean, this is the first um this is the first show on the list that Earns its spot on the made us both cry many tears. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, yeah, we're doing your line April, guys, soon. <sighs> I need to ask Noah. And Cole is not going to be mentally prepared for this. <laughs> I, I feel I like, you want to talk cry. about mental gymnastics? <laughs> that's me. Well, that's different kinds of mental gymnastics. This is mental gymnastics of, like, I have to be Sherlock Holmes to understand how these characters feel. True, uh, yeah. And the other one is I I know exactly how these characters feel. I need to I know God exactly how they me. feel and I need to mentally train yeah. for years to be able to like withstand an hour of this. So like I, I get the same vibe from that show that I do in this scene where Taiga is just going on about how useless she is. 
like that one hurt my soul a bit mm-hmm. that one really got me and i related to it a bit too much and i was not liking it at all <laughs> like kingdom hearts having a mental breakdown mm-hmm. yasuka just boots them out of the house yep she's just like oh, i don't care <laughs> sucks they well, go to the batting cage it's def it's different because they're being a little obnoxious yeah, well, and she works nights so i could understand why she's like and she even gives them money True, she doesn't give him money, but so like, like, she doesn't go, even say anything. She's just like, something. here's the money, leave. Mm-hmm. She I did the save. Money, oh, I'm not making that joke. Gone. Making You're right. <laughs> Good, Cole. No, I'm no, glad. I, no, I can't. Yeah, I know, exactly. You gonna talk about your girlfriend again, Cole? No, no, actually it wasn't. Okay. I think mine was weird. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. So, anyways. Um, but they say, like, they go to the batting cage, and they're like, oh, he's gone through a hundred pitches. Yeah, he's gone through 100 pitches. That's kind of average number for a softball player. Oh, yeah, I forgot he's a softball player. That's I, kind of average. I thought he that's, was That's just... kind of mid-tier. Whenever I played baseball, 100 pitches was kind of like... I would. I used to work at a batting cage. Mm-hmm. And on my break, I would take 100 pitches because I was bored. Mm-hmm. I would just set up the machine to run automatically and I would just go. See, that's a little whack for me because me as not a baseball player, I was like, if I did 100 100- pitches my my hands would break you get i mean yes my hands wrists and shoulders you're, you're tired after but like it's kind of normal whenever i was playing baseball 100 pitches my fingers would be bleeding all of my uh well that's why you wear batting gloves where i need to as if i'm gonna wear batting he didn't wear batting gloves yeah because he's stupid yeah they're all really bad at there's... playing the sports that they're like quote unquote <laughs> good at like that's he's just hard for i mean he's like a decent he's infielder but his swing is kind of meh <laughs> Kushida can't swing a bat without breaking her wrist. Her pitching is kind of trash. Wow! <laughs> you only see her pitch her very fielding, few times. Her fielding actually is garbage. Her pitching is nuts. She smoked two guys at once. I mean, and yeah. knocked them unconscious. But like, whenever she so actually you pitches, throw that she throws it accurately. She throws it down the pipe. Perfect lob ball. They just crush that shit. Like I don't know how they got a grounder on that. They I mean, ground a mix up or something. Like a, a mix. Oh, the mix up. Connor, is. Connor, come on, I'm trying buddy. to be You're sport ball. I'm trying <laughs> to be sport ball. Come First on, all, Cole, just give it. Here's to a me. little bit of a uh, of a uh, baseball knowledge. It's called a change up. First of all, You're probably trying to throw change up on it, Cole. <laughs> oh, it's sport ball. Come so on, fucking damn it. Um, nice but she just she GD throws it like her her pitching is meh. Her fielding obviously trash. <laughs> like they're not that good at these sports. No wonder her brother is the standout star. She's not going to be hurtful. <laughs> I don't like Kushida. I'm going to rip on her. Oh, Eddie that Jensen. is the meanest thing I think you've said about Kushida's <laughs> character. <laughs> we all know who the talented one in her family is. Like, holy moly! Oh, maybe, maybe he can get a boyfriend. <laughs> maybe she can date Ryuji. <laughs> he can date Ryuji. She's probably he's probably the same size as Tiger. He won't tell the difference. <laughs> He's like, what, 12, 14? Is he younger? I he's younger, I think, old. yeah. And yet, he's the star somehow. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. And after this episode, well, we get uh, Yasuku's plan to force Kitamura to dye his hair, mm-hmm. which is, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. It was a bit, uh, like, dumb. Because they held him in place and we're gonna dye his hair which is like okay that could work but also you can't say what she said she said something about like going back to the student council being covered the president she basically just said some stuff that really ticked him off so he skedaddled if i was him him, i would have been just like i would have literally just said we're dying your hair fool Blonde don't look good on you, and then jumped him. And then they would he would have probably just let them dye his hair back. Yeah, probably. But if they start bringing up stuff he's that get really mad. emotionally affects him, he's going to get mad, and he's going to run he's gonna away. He's going to get pissed. And that's what he did. Another thing I like is, um, in episode, the start of episode 16, we get to, like, um, Taiga starting her campaign. Mm-hmm. Her posters are, like, straight-up propaganda. No, yeah, they are. They're, I was like, dictatorship. Oh. It's like, that is... Like, this is, you know, Russia and the Cold War type shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, I mean, 
it it no. kind of works for her character. I mean, the plot I was, was gonna say it kind of worked in just general, but then I was like, it didn't. Not right away. Damn. <laughs> he, they sure. still had to like kind of force him. Um, I do like. In this episode, I do like the little bro talks between, like, Ryuji and Kitamura, though. Mm-hmm. It just the heart-to-heart type shit kind of builds their relationship a bit more in the show. Yeah, because they're just kind of friends by what seems like name. Most yeah, because the they, they don't they aren't able to hang out as much anymore. Mm-hmm. So this is, like, the first time we get to see them, like, oh, we finally get free time. And then they have a conversation. Uh I think it adds a lot to both of their characters. Mm-hmm. I mean, the relationship between characters is what makes this show so good. So it's nice to see them build on that one too, even though it's a relationship that we don't see a lot of. No. Like, yeah, they're friends, but like we don't see them hang out. Mm-hmm. It's like the whole Kushi to Taiga thing. Mm-hmm. Although, less of that crazy, because the Kushi to Taiga thing was like, I messed up and I couldn't go back to Taiga. Yeah. And it's like, you messed up, but you could go back. You could go back. You're just being a loser. Because you were just better than me. Yeah. And it's like, understandable. Fuck Kushida <laughs> at this point in time. She's bad. She's an awful character. That's I don't why understand. I don't like Kushida. She's a, like, she is a C-tier type shit. She's, she's rough. She's rough around this the This is me off. Uh, all I have is more Satsuki vibes from President. Um, I don't have a lot in this episode, honestly. I it was just kind of fine. Don't. It was fine. It, was, it wasn't one of the best episodes. No. Let's talk about I mean, the... Kitamura's speech where he, like, confesses and everything was mm-hmm. kind of neat. And, I mean, we do get the fight scene. The fight scene We do get the fight scene. Like, I understand, like, oh, Kitamura. Also, I really like how uh, Kitamura's like, haha, whatever. But the president is like, yo, if Kitamura is actually this bummed out about me that he's doing all this stuff, I don't like him. Like, like he, I underestimated him or something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man. And also, when Ryuji finds out that it's the, the reason is he got dumped, that's the entire reason. Like, man. <sighs> he, like, <sighs> I don't know, I feel, he just gets whooped on, you know? Yeah, I feel bad for I mean, the only thing I like about this episode really is that fight scene. Because it's so good. It's the first, like, I am going to kill you fight scene. And I mm-hmm. love that. Maybe that's what I was thinking of more Sasuke vibes. Because I'm like, ooh, murderous intent. Nice. <laughs> Where have I seen that before? Also, I'm pretty sure Kimura doesn't talk about why he got the bruise. Does he not? I don't think so. I think he just assumed his dad beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's awkward. Just a little bit about you. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Okay. I'm moving on to episode 17. Because... I assumed it was the president, honestly. I mean, it might. Mm. Like, I I can't think of anybody else who would do that. Maybe Koshima, but she wouldn't hit him that hard, you know? I don't, like... I don't think... Oh, I... wait, no. It was his dad. I told you. Okay. It's unfortunate. That says a lot about you, Connor. I mean, I would have hit him too. <laughs> We're not going to keep that in, because no, you wouldn't. That's true. Guys, uh, I'm, I talk a big talk, but I probably wouldn't hit my son. I would probably talk to him, though, and be like, listen, son, there's a lot of women, okay? You don't need to date the female astronaut. <laughs> She's going to go do her own thing. You're going to go do your own thing. She's going to be famous. Fine. You're not. Deal with it. I wouldn't say that. Loser. I would just be like, you Your know. softball career is going nowhere. <laughs> She's going to fly. <laughs> She's going to fly in space. You're Deal gonna with it. You're going to be the worst president in history. <laughs> Sucks to be you. You're going to literally cause a civil war in the school. <laughs> That's the that this is just the prologue to Kill a Kill. <laughs> just he call- turns into uh Mr. Glasses, the <laughs> guy. He has to dye his hair blue. Oh my god, that'd be funny. Okay, moving on to episode Rough. seventeen. Uh I did, <laughs> I forgot I put this in. Uh Minorin pitches like garbage, no wonder they lose their games. <laughs> You're Awful, man. Because isn't this the one where she just gets absolutely fucking annihilated? Hmm? Isn't this the one where they get, like, absolutely annihilated? No, they were winning 3-1. Were they? In the baseball game. But then she loses it on a ground ball back to the pitcher. Yeah. 
she's trash. I don't need her on my team. She wasn't playing well. No, that take her out then. She's Bench playing... her. It was Clearly, she's flustered. It's Bench her. Too late at that point. She was up three one. She was looking good. Then well, clearly not. She was spacing the hell out. But only once. Dude, it her... cost them the game. <laughs> like man, if your pitcher is that shook up that they allowed what three runners on base. It's that late in the game. You only have one inning left because softball is seven innings, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they had one inning. Um, what did you just say? They only have one inning left. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I thought you said they have one inning less, and I was like, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> um. Like, also, it, it's kind of the coach's fault at the end of the day, but I'm blaming Kushieta because I want to. Do you know who I'm blaming? Yeah. Fucking Tiger. <laughs> now I'm also blaming Kushieta because she just. Sucks at this point in time. You have to say something. You just took the entire team down. It's your own I fault. mean, I'd also blame Kawashida because she shook Kushida. I mean, yeah, but she's Kushida. not on the team. It's not her problem. You don't bring your personal feelings. What down is the this? Field. You feel guilt? <laughs> Serves you right, <laughs> sir. You suck, loser. <laughs> <laughs> like, you will never be a good friend. Your softball like, career will what? never take off, and exactly. Ryuji will never love you because of it. True. <laughs> Like, oh man. my god. <laughs> it's rough. Also, That's why I love Amy as a character. I think it's absolutely nuts that Taiga just likes Christmas. I was about to say that too. It's, it's so out it's of so, character. It's very I character. get it because like she has that dream and everything. Mm-hmm. And like she you know sends the gifts to the orphanage. But it's just odd. Mm-hmm. And it's, that's when you learn about her being, change going to a Catholic it's, school and that her only job was like giving gifts to kids. And I was like, she's a nice person. She just assaults people. She just gets mad. <laughs> she's like, anger issues. This is also where we get Minori wearing the bald cap for no reason while singing what sounds like sea, like sea shanties. Mm-hmm. But like not the good ones. Yeah, and she's wearing a cape. Yeah. Um, the only thing that can make this... This weird. is like this is a definitely one of those crackhead episodes where like Kitamura just walks in and just like lays down mm-hmm. on the ground for... Because what? They have to show more respect than kneeling would do? Some shit like that? Prostration. What? Like, what? That's so weird. Themselves. That's odd. Why? <laughs> what? Um, they let the teacher have a broadcast about her love life. Why? I thought it was fine. Well, it's, it's not even a broadcast about her love life. She's just one of the guests. It's... They let Kitamura have a broadcast about him being a love guru. <laughs> and again, and the I will. First, first thing I was will. The teacher. <laughs> I will chalk it up to, it's just a difference in culture, but <laughs> it's fucking odd. <laughs> it's pretty odd. <laughs> we, we we couldn't get away with that. Uh, but then again, I don't even know if Japanese schools can get away with that. I don't Only know. this school probably. And this school they just an exception because like oh, we said all the crazy fuckers there. They're just like the, it's their own fucking school. It's their own fucking world. Out here. <laughs> Holy shit! Can we uh, talk about uh, all the goons who were like, "You beat the boss." Yeah. Good job. I, she's a freaking celebrity now. She's a celeb because she just kicked the ever living <laughs> shit out of Satsuki Kiryu. And... I mean, that's basically all uh, Ryuka had to do. <laughs> Taika and Ryuko are the same person. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, yeah, basically. But at the end, I mean... So I'm basically wrong or am I basically right? I mean... At the end of Kill or Kill, she doesn't have to be tough. Carries around a scissor blade, carries around a bokken sword. Moving on. Uh, Haruta's dream, dream sequence. Um, oh, which one? Oh, which one is this? The one where it's the Christmas party, and he walks in, and Minorin is still wearing the bald cap in his mm-hmm. dream. And also, everybody's like half naked. Yeah. All the men. Yeah. And who are the women? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. They might have been wearing really, like, costumes and shit. I think. Costumes. I don't remember. But it's really funny because you literally, like, Kinmore shows up and he's like nude or whatever, something like that, and then your boy. Ryuji wearing like a costume or something rips open the costume and it's like sexy what about me you know something like that and it's like what is happening because they don't explain they only explain after so the entire time I'm there like oh I think I clicked the wrong show (laughs) that's something they do a lot yeah during the show they 
say something which you're like I mean, it's, it's funny you're trying to but understand. you have to you have to like make sure you're watching the right show for a second because i'm like uh yeah i'm like what when she said like when koshi was like talking about how uh she was like oh you feel guilt or something or is it your guilt getting in your way something like that i was like did i miss something yeah and i i flashed back and i was like no i didn't miss anything what in the, and that kind of put me off actually. And then you then Not you knowing. realize it. Then when I go in and they finally start telling me, I'm like, I mean, I just didn't want to know at this point. <laughs> like I don't care anymore. I, they, I mean, like, they do the leave things for a me. while to give you answers to certain questions. Yes, mm-hmm. but I feel like they're not that necessary to the plot line most of the time. It just kind of adds. Except it's for built. the guilt one. Except for the guilt one. That is that is a pretty you you should know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they fucking left that so long <laughs> a bit odd but whatever i <laughs> i digress i think is the proper term and also the dad one actually the dad one. Oh Tried yeah i mean that's not a hundred percent necessary it that's just kind of adding to like Ry- ryuji's family i guess but i guess not necessarily no uh this is also the same episode where Taiga walks in and Ryuji and his mother are just like praising a bird. True. Why? Because it was he read a cookbook about cooking chicken, and then the bird got pissed, and so, then they promised that they would never cook chicken <laughs> anymore. And I'm like, man, you go without chicken that easily? I'm I pissed. I know it's unfortunate. What are, you, what are your thoughts on episode eighteen, though? The the, the the Christmas tree one. <laughs> I love how instead of notes you're just watching it as you go. <laughs> My notes are pretty bad in comparison to just looking at the show. What are my notes? Point. Are my notes scaring you? Your notes intimidated my, the hell my, out of me. My, my notes four hundred like, notes. Yeah, my notes was basically. By the way, Cole just says like, how many pages you got over there in your Word document? Uh, nine. How many? What's the font size? Uh. 11. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you pump that thing up to 12, you got 10 whole pages of notes yeah. on 25 episodes. Wait, actually, wait, hold up. Um, I, I, I have to... Yeah, give me some more. That was really stupid. All right, so guys, while well, Cool is fumbling around with his computer, I'm going to talk to you a bit about episode 18. I think episode 18 was really well done. And the only... Like, uh, you understand... It does not make 10 pages. It makes, it makes like, just a larger nine. Good job. You're welcome. Thanks, Thanks for that information. Fuck, what episode was I at? 18? <laughs> 18. Yes, we were at 18. <laughs> tree episode. So, they're building the tree, yada yada. Amy can't put bells on a string properly because she she's an idiot. Idiot. <laughs> meanwhile, Love you, her, but she's an idiot. Meanwhile, you send Ryuji there. He could put, like, a million bells he can do it on the same string with his feet while he cooks something with his hands. Yeah. While he makes you, like, bomb-ass pork cutlets. Yeah, while he tells you a speech <laughs> about why you're the greatest human being on the planet and everybody loves you. And that's why he won Miss Housewife. That's why he won Miss Housewife. That's going to be a recurring character now. It's that and Kekko the Gecko. What? Miss Housewife? Miss Housewife. The award? We should give a Miss Housewife award for every show past this point. <laughs> I just don't agree. <laughs> we that's should. Stupid that, exactly. That'd be funny as hell. All right, let's talk. Kushida is blowing off Ryuji. Yeah. Because she feels guilty, yada, yada. And Ryuji's like, come to the goddamn dance. Uh, and Ryuji- I want to I wanna stop you before they get to that point. Right. Uh, Amy's comments about them playing house. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, she kind of making a point, though. <laughs> She's kind of right. <laughs> Made me really, really bummed out. Do you want to know why? At this point, I was like, why is Kaoshima here? Why is she just insulting everybody? I didn't want to think about that. I and mean, now she's I'm right, thinking, though. Yeah, she's that's what right, pisses though. me off. She's correct. She told me something that I already knew, but she's brought doing... it up to light. I and see, that's what I'm pissed off about. This entire time, I'm trying to figure out, is Amy doing this because she wants a chance with Ryuji? Or does she just feel bad for Taiga? It's what's both. It, is it both? Is it's it n- none of the above? Like, what's going on? She later said... The reason she stayed was for Taiga. I mean, Because yeah. she saw Taiga getting hurt, and she just couldn't sit there. <laughs> I mean, I just don't... I feel like that could have been more 
cl- I don't I don't want to say clear. Mm-hmm. It's pretty clear. It's just that like Amy doesn't follow with her actions. Follow suit. She doesn't follow mm-hmm. with like her actions don't show that. Mm-hmm. Cuz she talks to herself saying like, "Oh, we could start over." Which I'm like that line fucking hit me like a brick. <laughs> I was like, "Damn, I that just made me feel more bad for her." <laughs> like, it's really sad. Like that just hurt. That's, I don't like. I don't like her character. But I like those. Sad. Like I like the house, like the playing house idea that she that, keeps bringing up. Yeah, because that it was very accurate. It is it, very, it very accurate. hurt, and I was like, it very much hurt, and I was like, oh, man, this blows. Why is Haruta allowed to be just the most annoying motherfucker during the exam? What you mean going yeah. with his hair and stuff Dude, like anyone did, out. anyone did that my school with an exam, like we're throwing you out of the room and you're getting a zero. We don't give a shit. We as a collective are th- tossing you out the window. Yeah. Like we don't care. Um Man, he's just stressed and, and, and an idiot. <laughs> they I'm don't insane. care because they're all just like everybody there who isn't Harta is a grade A student. He's literally like the only one. Whenever she asks who, whatever they ask the teacher who's not doing well, she literally just says Haruta. They're all like smart as hell, and then mm-hmm. there's just. Cole, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> the poor guy, man. I feel bad. Which is, I feel, I feel like, I mean, that's his whole character. I get it, but like, I don't know. Why is he that annoying during the exam? <laughs> Um, but this is also where we find out about the presence for the orphanage from mm-hmm. Taiga, which... This is also where we find out, or we, we get more talked about uh, the one random chick side character's plan, Oh, Kihara, Kihara? Yeah. Where she's like, oh, hey, I fucking hate come, eat, come eat dinner with us or whatever, because we have to discuss Taiga things or something. And I was like, maybe she doesn't want to hang out with you. Say hey with Taiga. And so he does. And I'm like, cool. I'm glad. Kiara's plan was stupid. I hate I, I, plan is... She annoys the hell out of me. And I can't Kiara does it. annoy the hell out of me. She's not necessary. Gets in the way. Kind of annoying. My tinnitus is kind of kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Is it the washing machine upstairs? I don't, Probably. I don't know. All right. As Cole <laughs> suffers from tinnitus... No, we're good. We're good. I'm going I to talk don't... about... Uh, I'm gonna talk about the whole fir tree thing because I like the tree. I think the tree's cute as shit. They made a great tree. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. And Taiga even puts like this crystal, like beautiful glass, beautiful star. glass star on top. And then why Kushida. would they? You blame Kushida. However, this is the one time where I'll kind of vouch for her. They did put it like right next to a window. Cool. They put it in the gym, which was full of windows. Like, they put it directly but where it can get hit by Cole, a softball. Someone should if, have been like, hey, they do hit pretty hard. Cool. if you also look at it, did you remember where the softball field was? Yeah. Into, like, behind, the, like, when she was running to a practice, there was a building to her left, building to her right, and a small aisle yeah. that she could go through. It had to have come through that aisle to hit the window. Yeah. That is extremely unlucky. I mean, yeah, but you still should have taken it into account. Had to pop up what, like, probably over a batting cage, or the no, the back? it's going forward. There's typically the. She hit Wasn't it there forward. No forward. She hit it forward. Wasn't, isn't there also a cage there, like a, not a high one? No, that I that guess. way you wouldn't be able to enter the field, unless you went through like some fucking dugouts. I'm not going to pay to have that done because why well, would you waste that much money? Don't they usually just have a chain fence and then it ends on a side and there's a chain fence behind it? I'm trying to picture what you're saying. I have no so fucking there's clue a what big chain fence and then it cuts off at a certain part and literally behind that is a second chain fence but only to a certain point. So it would be like this. I mean, some fields. Some but... fields. The fields I went to had that and you couldn't get a ball over there if you tried. Oh, you don't hit. Not that into hard the enough. outfield because the outfield was no fence, but behind you. And she said she popped it up. So I was thinking she, she popped it up back. I think she meant popped it up like that, like to the. Okay. You can't see what I'm doing, like to the Weird. side. But we forward. also had like a thing behind us. Yeah, Big most chain fields, fence. Most fields have like something, but I don't know. Kind of depends on what field you're on, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, I also love the line. Uh, you think I'm a single girl being manipulated by marketing? Indeed. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Loser. True. <laughs> like, True. Yeah, clearly you are. Uh, I don't know, I have 
have mixed feelings on this episode. Mm-hmm. As much as I like mm-hmm. it, there's also a lot of filler. There is. <laughs> like, a there's lot a lot of filler. filler. It's a good amount of filler because it's uh, just like, oh, we need to talk about emotions and really drill into the fact that, like, it's it, people are just sad. Man, we have a lot to talk about this episode. <laughs> okay, my do. Jesus. Um. Episode nineteen. We're moving on. All right. Sounds good. What? what do we want to talk about the fur tree? Let's talk about. Kushida collapsing first and saying like I'll fix the star I mean yeah I, honestly it seemed more they seemed like they were trying to go for something like really deep and this is how she it feels it was deep this she is said, she was like I have to do this by myself and it's like hey bitch you can do this by yourself but I'm also gonna do the same thing by myself I'm not doing this for you I'm doing this for me I mean, and that was yes like, but like you don't need to help me no I'm doing it for me like that's what he needed to say in that situation. I mean, yes, but I find it's just... They tried to make it more deep than it really was. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a personal thing. Maybe that's just me. That's kind of what I feel, though. Dude, and then she's like, I can't undo what I've done. I think I just don't want to talk Which, about episode 18 because I love episode 19. Well, I liked episode 18 because Cruciata was a little was better getting, but bad she was not still. good she was still so she was still really and sad annoying. but she said like you can't do what i can't undo what i did right no, and that no was can't get over it that's in reference to you know how she just left taiga like all alone you know yeah i felt like that before and, a lot i feel like that all the time still now and then however the boy's like you can fix it Ryuji just spitting straight like and then he does he does and he does he's insane <laughs> he's not he's cool. like a glass worker now he doesn't give a shit he do anything he can make that yeah, I'll, bare hands I'll make glass I'll just rub the sand so hard that it becomes glass <laughs> yeah I'll throw it into the sun in, a, in the shape of a <laughs> throw in the shape it, of a I'll star it, I'll put it in the shape of a boomerang and I'll throw it so it comes back <laughs> yeah and then by the time it comes back he's made it so it like breaks apart into a star <laughs> it's like a falling star <laughs> oh my god so anyways let's talk about episode 19 yeah. Mom, geez, it's my mother, everybody. Uh, <laughs> what? Huh? I'm trying to get in the podcast. Oh, God. It's definitely yeah. <laughs> really outing us here. Anyways. Outing you. This is not my house. <laughs> All right. Let's chat about the Christmas Eve party. I like the Christmas Eve party. I, I also like the Christmas Eve party. I didn't like Tiger's hair. I'm just going to say it. Hmm? I think we already said this. Don't like her hair. Oh, it looks like shit. No. Hey, it's bad. bad. It looks gross. But That's a bit more mean than I meanwhile, Ryuji, looking fly in a suit, looks very looks fly. like the dad. Yep. He just needs some newspapers, or he needs a magazine tucked in there. What does this say? Ryuji looks fly as hell in a suit. Thank you, Cole. Yes. I'm glad you have that in your notes. Absolutely. I just have that in my mind notes that I wrote down. <laughs> Damn it. Where'd you get that link? Oh, uh, it's mine. Yeah, mine's the other one. <laughs> Thank you, mother. All right, I want to be like a guest. You can be a guest. What, mom? What did you think? Hold on, come down here for a second. No, no, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I was gonna ask her what she thought about uh, Ryuji's mom. <laughs> As a mother, you know, understandable. <laughs> but guys, just between you and me, and don't tell my mother. But we're probably gonna cut that. <laughs> It might. It, it was a little funny. It's a little, mm, a little much. A little much. Oh my god, it was funny. You know, <laughs> Cole's just chewing some jelly beans. Oh yeah. All right, let's chat about the whole Christmas Eve party. He is so. He looks fly. He looks fly. fly, but also he's so fascinated with Kushida Kou- coming to this. He wants her to come to this so bad, and he buys a gift for her. And it's like but, a cute oh, little gift too. Yeah, it's adorable. Also, right after you know you. Calls her yada yada. He straight up is like, or you you see like, oh, we get into the Christmas party. My boy Prez, new Prez, shows up, shirtless. no shirt, shirtless Santa overalls. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Like what? How is this appropriate? My guy knows how to have fun. What can I say? It, there was parts where they just call him out for sexually harassing people because he's like, yeah, they say I'm getting, you... I'm getting harassed by kinky Santa. True. True. <laughs> like, that is a line. Yeah. 
And I also think it's really cool because of, uh, dude, what, what's his name? Ryuji, straight up at one point, is like, I, I got pissed off at how people were handing out food, yada yada. So I hopped in. What? Like, what? Isn't he supposed to be here for like. This is his housewife. Taiga what could I say? He just can't resist. Also, what did you think of Amy and Tiger's song? I thought it was nice, actually. I thought it was trash. <laughs> It's bad. I thought it was a bad song. No. It was it, a cute scene. It's a cute scene, but it's bad. It's a terrible song. It's, a, <laughs> it's garbage. It looks it's not Christmas. that... It's Christmas. It's a <laughs> Please. Shut up. Please stop. I can't. It was It was charming. You. Had, I was charmed, but it wasn't good. Cute, I would not listen scene. to it on my own. Ever. And, it, and it's like... The first quote-unquote bonding moment between... Amy and Tiger mm-hmm. that we see. Also, when did they have time to practice this? Because they were like on. That key. was asked, and she didn't answer. She just said, "Well, we had to keep it a secret." Yada yada. It's like, that doesn't answer anything. That doesn't answer anything. How many, how when did, did you, you have time to what? do this? You couldn't do this at freaking uh, Tiger's place because Ryuji would know. Mm-hmm. You probably Amy had has to do it at stalkers apparently. Actually, no, you couldn't even do it at Amy's house. They didn't know where she lives yet. So where did they do this? I don't know. at I school. Think... In, like, the bathroom or something? With other students? No! Like, what the hell? It's just them! It doesn't make sense. Man. It's so weird. So, when we talk about Ryuji knew that Taiga had a plan to get Mino into the party and still just dipped. an idiot. (laughs) It's true. Yeah. When when Ryuji dipped to go see Taiga... I mean, as cute as that seems. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna blow it. As, as, in as my head, I was like, he's going to blow the cruciated thing. Yeah. Like, bad. Like, bad. He, she's going to get there, and he's not going to be there. Yeah. Even though Tiger's like, yo, he's waiting for you. This is where it all comes undone. Right? Mm-hmm. This is what I thought. But no, he made it back in time. And I'm like, what? 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 Well, she went to Tiger's too. Didn't she go and see him? I see her, like, crying on the fucking road. Yeah. Which I mean, because same. Ran, I was also she almost, ran out. I was also crying was yelling at this Ryuji. point. <laughs> but and I <laughs> was so sad. I think I was Dude. smashing my bed. <laughs> I think I took my fist and started hitting my bed really I'm hard. I'm pretty sure at this point I was punching something. Yeah, I, I was, was just, just like, man, so this it's, man cares so much for this fucking girl, so man. Upsetting, man. Oh man, this show, this show fucks me up so bad every single time. That's why I had to watch the last two episodes on point five, or I would have lost it. I watched the last nine episodes on point five, Cole, and I still lost it. <laughs> Gets me every fucking time, man. Like, really, he goes out of his way to make Taiga realize her dream. I'm like, man, <laughs> Connor's losing it over here. <laughs> Connor, my, you want a you want you want a jelly bean? <laughs> Connor, have a jelly bean. No, thank you, Cole. <laughs> Here, I got you. I'll give you some jelly beans. Here, try this. It's banana. Yo, I'll show you the best infielders. Oh, no. <laughs> I just realized I don't like banana. Shoot another. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this one is. <laughs> fuck. Hey, guys. Anyways, you were asked. <laughs> this is when it goes to shit. This is when it, this is when we get too emotional. <laughs> we need a second. Listen, guys, We've like, been going for almost three hours, yeah. and we're only on episode nineteen. At this point, Six more. at this point, we were done kill a kill, and we we're talking about like the next episode. Yep. We still have another five episodes after this. It's because we finally got our shit together, Cole. And okay. also, Torador was really good. Torador was really good. Oh man. Like, just the way that they went about making this show. I've got a soft spot for uh, romances. Because I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I am so keeping that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Alright. What was I going to say? So, he goes into her house, makes her dream true, yada yada. Then, Taiga realizes she's in love with Ryuji. Cried. Shit. Runs outside. Crying, yeah, I did the name. same, and that, I had to stop this yeah. episode at this point. Yeah, this is name. one of my favorite episodes. Dude, it was a great episode, and then the shit had sees me this, in you know, tears. You hurt my friend. I can't like you because I have to give you to Taiga, even though I like you. And you're like, <sighs> so he just 
gets rejected. Here Hardcore. Want, here, you want a French vanilla one? Yes. Uh, <laughs> he, get, he just straight up gets rejected. It sucks. Yeah. He goes all this way, does all this. Mm-hmm. Shows how great of a person he is. Still gets rejected. This is why I hate Christian. Yeah, now no, you're stressing. Shut <laughs> <Sure. laughs> I haven't eaten in three hours. Hmm? I haven't eaten in two hours, 52 minutes. <laughs> yeah, same. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, and you're eating. Yeah, I'm hungry. Idiot. <laughs> Why are you dissing me for doing that? This it's is the like same what, thing you're doing. Episode 9 is like one of my favorite episodes. Mm. It's so good. Gosh, man. Everything is so well done. Alright, let's help and do episode 20. Um, okay. This school does a week-long trip. Mm-hmm. Oh How my gosh. rich can your school be? Yeah, also, can I talk to you about something real quick? Yeah, go for it. My boy, Ryuji, was so heartbroken that he... Fainted. fainted and got the and got flu. The flu, and it was bad that he was like he went to the hospital. That's not good. Falling asleep in the winter outside, he could have died. He should have died. Man, I, mean, I don't know how the Japanese climate is. I haven't seen any snow yet, but I'm pretty sure it snows um, over there. It does a lot actually. Yeah. So you know, they have this great is skiing this there. is Christmas. So why is there no snow? And why is he not dead? Their seasons right are a bit different than ours, I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I might be incorrect about that. Wacky. Great skiing, though. Incredible skiing. <laughs> you can just ask for a jelly bean, you know, you don't have to fucking wave me down. No. <laughs> it ruins the immersion of the podcast. <laughs> you think we have immersion? Yeah, my mother came down. There's no immersion. <laughs> Your mother anymore. came down to see how we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, <you> snacks. <laughs> Funny as hell. So, guys. <laughs> Hilarious. It's it's rough, man. Oh man, but like, episode twenty is good. Episode twenty is good and all, especially because Tiger's like, we're not hanging out anymore, so you can hang out with Kushida. The reason she rejected you, because she gets from you. And then I'm like, was that the reason? And Tiger was hundred percent. She was on it. Meanwhile, my head was like, I mean, she was right. At the time, I didn't know that, but she was right. Yeah, at the time, I didn't know that either, and I was very confused. Hmm, weird. I wonder about how he goes, I wish everything would burn down, and then it fucking and then does. And then the hotel burns down. Killed me. I thought that was fucking hilarious. That was rough. I was like, and then he apologizes to Kyle yeah, and Shino like, for what? it. And they're like, what are you talking about? Wait, Taiga's plan um, to also get Minorin to grab uh, Ryuji's hand while, while they're walking down the street. Slick. That was her first good plan. Mm-hmm. Her only good plan. Like... Her, her next good plan was, let's go get fucking married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was the next best one. Also, I've never had a homeroom. I never had homeroom. I, I didn't either. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck it is. It's one room you go to and the teacher changes instead of you changing a classroom. So the teacher just pops in, tells you shit, and then leaves? Kind of. What the f- I, I don't understand it. Instead of, it's the, instead of it being a teacher who goes to that class and stays in that class, basically, and the kids alternate, it's the teacher that alternates and the kids always stay in that specific class. So, when so it's basically the opposite of what we do here. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotcha. So that way all the kids get this. It's the exact same thing, but we're just switching I'm assuming, out teachers I'm assuming they do that because of the amount of kids. That makes sense. See, I went to a little tiny school, so. Mm-hmm. It was the teachers change and the students change because we have... We because we can do that. True, we did do that. I mean, we also had one teacher that taught like in four different rooms. So, yeah, same here. We had portables outside because we portables, had but too many kids. The, the, the temporary classrooms, temporary classrooms quote, that unquote. stay forever. The worst. Um, and they've been up for like two fucking decades. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh my god. Also, the line of "I look at you a lot, Minorin." Uh. <laughs> Creepy much. Okay. Yet, it was well received. I don't know how. If my, because if my girlfriend said that to me now, I would be like, you're weird. Cool. If my girlfriend said to me now, I'd be like, that's weird. Please don't say that to me. This one wasn't very good. Uh, it was also very expired. This one tastes like bad coffee. Expired coffee, some would say. I think it was a cappuccino one. Yeah, it was. So, guys. Let me, let me tell you There's a little... There's cappuccino. Yep. <laughs> let me tell you a little something. Really made me upset. This kind of episode, because... <sighs> oh, it does taste like shit. Hey, you're just... No. Good. 
it, it made me sad. That's all I have to say about this episode. I don't want to say any more. Well, I do like the line of wasted effort is a bitter thing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, that's this entire show. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> this is just people putting effort, getting rejected, and being sad. Yep. And, and he's then like, I'm going to try sad. one more time up here skilling, skiing. And then everything comes undone. Yeah. And then, then we go to episode 21. Mm-hmm. Episode Midra, 21. Midra actually has a like, decent skiing form. Like, she's like, she kind of skis pretty well, actually. She's a sport girl. She do be jock. Mm-hmm. Um, Super jock, some would say. Okay, I'm moving on to the next line. Kimishima said that. Did she actually? Yeah, in episode 25. I don't, I don't she even... called her Super Jock. Oh, God. Imagine having that nickname. Super Jock? I mean, that... Imagine someone looking at you and saying, Super Jock. Well, I mean, Kirishima is kind of heartless I mean, and cold true. and mean. True. Yeah, she has no feelings for other people whatsoever. Exactly. Well, she don't has feelings, you just don't know it yet. You still, right now, don't even know the, the I think you get like little hints here and yeah, there. Yeah, little hints, she's, but it's hard she, to like, put talk, it together. She says shit to Ryuji. At this point, I was kind of aware. Mm-hmm. I didn't know to, to what degree. I was just like, oh, I think she is lonely. Mm-hmm. I also but then I was like, oh, no, she's more than lonely. <laughs> like, she has no friends, and also, she literally stayed know. only because Taiga was getting bullied. I feel like she's the like, only what? one that's, like, not clueless. Everyone else is so, like, has no common Actually, sense, and she's just like, holy you know, I think shit. It's crazy. <laughs> Kushida was in. She knew a lot. She knew everything, and whenever something would happen, she knew exactly yeah. what was going on, which was messed me up because she never showed it. So when she finally shows it, you're like, she's more two faced than Mrs. Two Face. Yeah. Wow. And I'm out here like, oh my gosh, green. Green? No. Ignore us, guys. She green or dark? Like light like green. green. Or dark. So, you guys want some jelly beans? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Starts flicking into the <laughs> mic. Fucking. <Boom. laughs> and there goes Darius. <laughs> and there goes the jelly bean. <laughs> Man. Um, but. I feel like she's uh, the, like. She's the only one that's like. Not clueless. She's the only one that's aware of what's going on and says what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, <sighs> it's rough. Well, yeah, she tries to manipulate shit because. She's an asshole, but I love that. I feel like that like everyone else acts like children. It shows that, like she works with adults mm-hmm. in the modeling work because everyone else acts like children. Mm-hmm. And although like they call her like Gruji calls her childish, she still acts more mature, and she still understands things more. She is like what I went into this when I said no, really, none of their relationships are going to end well because of how they treat each other, and she was like me in that aspect she knew that she knew that and, I was and like, she just fucked with them <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, and I, meanwhile mr connor man is over here is like damn it's unfortunate as you talk about kiroshima i like her a little more but i also am now liking end of story kushida more oh, to the point kushida where is just i like kushida no kushida still isn't top it's high top. the official ranking official ranking ryuji <laughs> number one true then it's Amy. No. Yes, absolutely. No. This is just not true. Amy is best girl so guys, from this show. I'm sorry. Official ranking. Oh, no. Goes Ryuji, Taiga, Kitamura. Don't say it. Kushida. I fucking hate you. Kawashima. No, no, no. Ryuji is number one. We agree on that. Just because yeah. Mrs. Housewife. Taiga number two. Best girl. Taiga. Amy. Taiga. Then it's Kitamura. Dog. Then it's Taiga. I'm gonna be real. Then it's Kawashima. Just makes top three. Do you know who's about to beat her out? Don't say Kihara. I'll fight you. Teach. Ooh. Are we throwing Teach in this? There's not many characters that are like a character. I mean, I was talking about the main, you know, the main ensemble cast, but I mean, I wouldn't even say Kihara's main ensemble. She's there for like three episodes. Yeah, Kihara is kind of trash. Like, anybody who isn't main five is ensemble. Well. Yeah. They're, they're just background characters, basically, who kind of progress the story sometimes and kind of give you hints about stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of right about that. 
It, it's weird. <laughs> it's odd. So, let's just talk real quick about how everybody's fighting. Yes. Everybody's fighting because people want different things. Some people want... Uh, so we go to the girls' room to figure out what's going on and apologize to them. True. Let's hop straight to that because everything else is boring. Everything else is just fighting. They fight. Yeah, okay. they fight. Um, first of all, Kidmura is evil as hell for mm-hmm. the way that he wakes up Ryuji. That's disgusting. For pretending to fart on him. Yep. That's, nope, that was funny. That's childish as hell. I, I knew it him. was going to be faked. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. But, like, man, you do that to my boy Ryuji. So? Like, it's Kid Moore. There's a reason he's he, number three. He probably woke up thinking like, oh shit, I gotta have to clean this shit off the floor. Like, <laughs> he was just gonna fart on. They enter the girls' room, they don't knock. No, they barge in. They say, we're coming in, open the door, there's no yep, one there. We're coming in, get ready, boom. Ryuji instantly starts cleaning. Yep. And they literally say, control yourself. Yeah. And he doesn't. Nope. It's really funny. I'm surprised they didn't, like, the girls didn't catch on, huh, our stuff's been cleaned. <laughs> Maybe the absolutely kleptomaniac cleaner. <laughs> Maybe the kleptomaniac? That's people who steal shit. <laughs> Which one word am I trying to think of? Psychopath? No, sociopath? No, no, no. no, no. OCD looking ass? Sure. I'll go with that one. <laughs> but um, Maybe he showed up and paid a visit. Man. Man. Okay. They really just, like, instead of being like, oh, sorry, Tyga let us in. They hide. Mm. And then? Taiga would have just been like, yeah, I let them in. Now get out. And they probably would have fucking left. But they can't because they already kidnapped Taiga. <laughs> <laughs> the kidnapper pulled her in and before they could figure out something, the other girls came in. Like, oh my god. Yeah, it's like, ooh. And like, then? Sounds like kidnapping, but okay. <laughs> and then what are the this episode? Kidnap kids another kid. Is it a kid kidnapping? Child napping. No, did you get my joke there? My no, I, I know. Kid kidnapping? Uh-huh. It's a kid doing uh-huh. a kid kidnapping. Uh-huh. Anyways. Uh-huh. How funny. We're going to move on. Cole, I'm going to hit something. <laughs> Cole, uh-huh. it's going to be you. Uh-huh. <laughs> funny. It's hilarious. We've been anyway. talking about assault a lot, so let's <laughs> give you a prime example between me and Cole. Get ready, Cole. Pull out my boken stick. Oh, wait. Okay, um... This is the same episode where Taiga gets, like, stuck at the bottom of the hill, right? Yep. Where she falls down. But nobody really knows it yet because she, but they just, she just goes and disappears. No, it's the same episode. Did they go and find her in this, <sighs> episode? They her in this episode? They find her in this episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow, a lot happens in this episode. Yeah, this episode's, like, really jam-packed. Mm-hmm. Um, great way to end the episode. With her, like, being unconscious and saying shit to no, Ryuji. No, they didn't find her in episode 21. No, yes, they did. Mm-hmm. Don't give me that bullshit. Wait, no, they did. I'm stupid. Okay, Everything just happened so fast, Cole. Car, this is why this is taking so long. <laughs> Three and hours And then in. she hits him because, like, oh, I thought it was you, it was you Ryuji. Because she thinks it's Kitamura, but she's like, oh, I thought it was Ryuji because he always comes and saves me. I'm like, yeah, true. <laughs> You're right. And then it comes in. Not only is it because he comes and saves me, I like Ryuji. And I want you to get rid of these feelings because I know he likes somebody else. And Ryuji's out here like, what do I do about that situation? This is... But like the next episode, episode 22, he wakes up just screaming in the middle of class her name. Yep. Gee, I wonder uh, his feelings. Well... (laughs) <laughs> the reason he screamed it was because of a traumatic event. Traumatic, yeah. <laughs> like... They they chucked it up to PTSD, my good sir. <laughs> we have two people majoring in liberal arts. What? I'm going to make fun of them. We have Homie with the glasses who <laughs> and Kushida. True. Both majoring in liberal I mean, arts. Although she was she's looking like she's going to get a scholarship for liberal arts no softball How, wait, is she actually getting a softball scholar here? probably what team wants someone that swings like they're fucking throwing a cane around <laughs> I'm sorry Cole <laughs> probably the best person on that team I never said the team was good Cole you gotta <laughs> pick and choose you gotta pick and choose how's the how's the women's national softball you association doing later I'm good okay. thank you Alright, we're gonna have to cut that out.
Yeah. Zillow, you gotta love No, we'll keep it in. <laughs> we're keeping that in, but not the part where I say, Mom, you want a tug of a tour? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That was like, funny. Yeah, two people liberating, uh, majoring in liberal arts gang. Mm-hmm. Um, Minrin assaults customers mm-hmm. while on the job. Um, f- hilarious scene. Still assault. Mm-hmm. Three counts. Three counts. Um, Sometimes more. <laughs> can we just like Minrin's like can given we, like a really nice metaphor while they're at the school. Can we talk about? Uh, oh yeah, it was a pretty good metaphor. Like she mid metaphor and Amy just fucking walks away midway through. She's yep. like, I don't care. Mm, I'm out. That's also why I love Amy. I don't care. I think also it's really funny because the guy that uh, Minoran's working for just, they're like, oh, he's going to open his eyes. And it's like, what do you mean he's going to open his eyes? His third eye opens. <laughs> and, and then he, he opens up his eyes, comes up, and then grabs a bunch of things and starts spinning hot water at everybody. I'm like, <gasps> that's boiling water. That's what? three more accounts of assault. Uh, actually, it's seven. There was four more people. That's right. <laughs> and the other four were like, awesome. And the other three were like, oh my God, what is going on? I have to go to the hospital and I'm never going to be able to pay this medical debt. True. <laughs> Because oh, privatized healthcare. Poor privatized healthcare. Oh my god. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Also, I like how his plan for this is, hey, Kinomura, you pretend you saved her and that she said nothing to you. He's, like, he's probably gonna be like, what did she say? Well, no, he knows. I'm pretty sure he kind of points out and was like, oh, yeah, that's is true, this about... about the wish at the mm-hmm. New Year's wish Eve. At the yeah, yeah. And then... Ryuji either says yes or probably, but if he says yes, then how does he know about the New Year's wish? I mean, he probably assumed. Probably. Yeah. Like, I also wanted to point out this episode, Ryuji's about to let it slip that he heard what Taiga said. And you hear the fucking note he hits. (laughs) Buddy just, like, jumped a fucking octave. Dude, it's weird. It's certainly (laughs) weird. Because he hits it. That's a full ass chest note. Like that's that's solid. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, no. He is his voice actor is pretty cool, but also when she pulls him in and he blushes, and then she's like, "What are you making a funny face for?" It's like, <laughs> at this point, you should know, Tiger. You dumbass. Come on. Yeah, honestly. But I love that last scene where like Sorry. Tiger sees him for the first time since the accident, and like. They don't know what to feel. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like how she jumps from window to window. Yeah, and almost <laughs> fucking dies. <laughs> yeah. He's not, he's not wrong, everybody. All right, cool. Three more episodes left. Three Three more we, episodes. Got we, we got this. We got this. We're moving. We got this. We're moving. We're finally in 310. Connor. It's the longest episode yet, guys. Bear with us. And I don't know how it is. <laughs> we did Blue Exorcist, which had... Two seasons, and it was like two hours of bare. We didn't do a shit about Blue Exorcist. True. We were just like, it's fine. <laughs> Off. <laughs> you gave it a positive score. Still not that good. I, it has I, to be really bad for me to give it a negative score. I guess we like I didn't enjoy watching this. I literally yeah. If we give a negative score, it's because we didn't like it to some degree. Mm-hmm. It's a na- We didn't enjoy it to some degree. Mm-hmm. I can only name two. Maybe three shows right now that I watched that I'm like, I hate Soul this. Eater is one of them. I guys. fucking Be careful. I fucking hate Soul Be Eater. Be careful, all you Soul Eater fans, aka I... me, <laughs> who's getting a beating after this. <laughs> I fucking hate Soul Eater. So moving cool. on. Let's move on. Yeah. Episode twenty three. Right off the bat, another count of assault. Teacher assaults Ryuji. What? He grabs him and just fucking loses her shit on him. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's still assault. Um, it's assault on a minor. Is He's it 17 at this point. Is it technically a minor in Japan, though? Yes. I'm pretty sure 18 is still 18. Like, <laughs> age yes. of consent changes place to place, but I'm pretty sure you don't actually... What's considered adulthood? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's always 18. That's a good question. Like, I might look uh, that up. Might be, I don't know if it's universally 18, but I think it might be. That's usually when it's stuck. I don't even know what happens. That's when you tend to when stop stuck. growing, right? And stop developing. Well, actually, not stop developing, no, stop but developing like biologically 20. develop. What? No, a brain. Ah, true. Until, yeah. like you're 20-something. You know what I mean. Like, like the rest of you. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like my sweet, hot boy bod. Okay. Mr. Underweight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, don't worry. This, no, you're probably like, you're, you're definitely like I'm, I'm, healthy I, weight. I'm technically healthy weight, but yeah. on the lower end. That's fine. I'm technically healthy weight by 0.1. Oh, gang shit. Yeah. <laughs> Some would say that. <laughs> I mean, okay. Teacher assaults Ryuji. Teacher gives them career planned. What does Taiga do with it? Makes a fucking paper airplane. True. No also, wonder they kicked her out of the other fucking oh. school. <laughs> no wonder. Not, not only that, but I really like when Ryuji followed in suit and just took his chair and rocked it back and sat on like the one thing like delinquents do. Yeah. Because I was like, dude, if I did that in my school, my teacher would have came over and kicked my ass. Because we wouldn't do that because it was dangerous. No, we did that all the time. <laughs> and I was like, missed. <laughs> so I was like, chill out. <laughs> dude, it was like, we don't have a health budget anyways. If you fall, you fall. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm going to cut that out because I don't want the school to rip on me. Anyways. Um, the school is going to rip on They don't have a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was just a joke. But Guys, there's comedy. <laughs> Guys, don't it's take a joke. it seriously. It's a joke. Don't take that seriously. I don't know about their budget. <laughs> who are definitely not watching this podcast They're, those are the <laughs> last people that are going to watch this fucking podcast very true very true like, also like how uh, Ruji just dips from the house yeah he just fucks off actually before that even <laughs> he talks to Koshima and Koshima is like oh blah 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 makes more and like yeah she just, he just she grabs talks, her shoe and just he just, just and throws launches it. it and that's why I love Ryuji so much he's just so spontaneous for no dude, reason he literally she was just insulting her or something and it's like, oh, you have a foot fetish? And he just takes the shoe, looks to the right, boom, gone. <laughs> and I'm like, dog. Let's <laughs> not put it up with that shit. No, he's not. He's tired of it. He, dude, if I was my boy Ryuji right now, I'd be like, yeah, I'm also tired of this. He literally gets out of the house and is like, I'm going to get stuff, Taiga. See you later. Oh, and I then love Tyga's, that scene so much. Taiga's like, I'm, I'll come too. It's like, no. Because he's getting like assertive and he's getting like, what is going on. Yeah. My boy is changing. <laughs> he's, going, he's getting less he's... nice. <laughs> but like that, whenever she like stops him on the street mm-hmm. and like pulls him away from the car, that and saves his life. And he so... doesn't even say anything. Well, he starts fucking crying, Connor. Did he cry? Yeah. I don't think he ever shed any tears. Yeah, he did. I don't believe you. I, cl- I will come over there and show you the scene if I have to. No, I, I'm looking at the scene. No, she shed tears. No, Tiger they both do. They both do. Just takes him a little bit because he's big macho man. No, he didn't. <laughs> Bullshit. Get me over there. <laughs> hey guys, don't worry. Cole's coming over. Okay. You talking right right after you? Cole, he didn't cry. No. Hey guys, he did. how's it going? He did. Don't give me the bullshit. <laughs> you talking before this? Wait. Mm-hmm. Hi guys, don't worry. I got. I just gotta show Cole up real quick. Am I thinking of a different scene? You are, hundred <laughs> percent. That's awkward. Oh, he almost did. He almost oh. cried, but he he's too cried. man to cry. Sorry, I was crying. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I couldn't see his his not tears. My tears were dripping onto the phone, so I thought he was crying. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But yeah, I like that's a, that's a great scene. I love that scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh they're both gosh. trash at retail. True. Sure. They are. And also, what was I going to say? Grove collapses. Mom collapses. And then he takes the job secretly. Pretty pog. Pretty pog channel. I'm not going to lie. I love how she gets mad that he took a job. He does. He's just like, shut does. the fuck up. He's, He's like, like fainting. Yeah, he finally like comes swinging at her. Like, hey, listen. Which, I mean, I feel bad. He does person. rip on her for like... He does go a bit harsh on her, but... Cole... She's trying, she man. It. She's trying. Understandable, but she's trying too hard and not letting the kid live his life the way he wants and he's putting all this guilt on him yada yada but also we don't even get into that that's episode 24 i know we still need to talk about the whole hey yo it's time to it's time you like ryuji and he that is such knows a great it. fucking scene and, and we have trapped you in the goddamn kid classroom and amy Slick as fuck, just slip to the doors. Mm-hmm. No one notices. Which also, I want to put in. If Taika really wanted to, she could have gotten through that door. She could have just beat the shit out of Amy. Yeah. Even gone. Kitamura, like he's he's ripped and all, but Taika, he, he wouldn't throw a punch. No, he wouldn't. I don't think. I think he's too nice to throw a punch. Yeah, I don't think he would hit her. Kushida's like, 
It's game time, baby. <laughs> it's- you listen, and then she goes and confesses why she feels guilty, yeah. yada yada, why she can't like him, yada yada. <laughs> I'm looking at my episode 24 notes, mm-hmm. and I completely forgot to put Mitter into fucking loser. <laughs> I was looking at it like, what? <laughs> why, did, why did I put that? <laughs> I'm very proud of you. So yeah, that's a great episode. She runs mm-hmm. off. Then Kimura 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 is like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And then when they come Ryuji's like, I, I'm going to. And then it goes up to the next door. He's like, I'm going after her. Let's go. Pug right. champ. And then they end up in the nurse office. <laughs> true. True. He take, he ends up taking care of Kushida. Because she's because Taika's long gone. Right, so it's like, I could chase after her, or I could help out this friend. And, and still see her. And still see her. Because, and let's be real. Literally, also, I love Kushida in this episode. She I don't. gets saved. I don't. Her character gets saved because... Annoying. She just, she's, she actually expresses, ex- expresses emotion here. She's been so bottled up for this entire last bit, and hiding this guilt and stuff. Yeah. And she finally gets to actually cry, and actually feel... Sad that Takasu is getting taken away from her, and so is Taiga. I mean, yeah, but and, we knew oh that was going gosh. to happen. Yeah, but now she's crying. I mean, I, as much as I, I like that I scene, expect... I feel like that part was. I don't like the nurse office scene that much. I liked it. A it lot. was just fine. Fist to chin. That was. That was. I was like, I, mean, I, I, I thought. He, I thought she was going to drop him. I was ready for that. No, he has to go do stuff. It's fine. Um, I thought. I thought it was cute that like. He like he knew that she'd walk by the workplace, mm-hmm. made for a little good banter scene before the moms show yeah. up. Uh, and when they the have moms to tell show each other up, stuff, and then the moms show up, and and then she lo- he looks her down the eyes, goes, "You're scared, I'll end up like you," True. and grabs Tiger and runs off. And nope, like, Tiger grabs him and runs off. Nice try. Oh, oh, shit, sorry, Which, whichever. Because Holy Tiger's shit. the one who runs for her problems. That's why I like Amy more. Listen. <laughs> She ends up <laughs> still running away from her problem. Kind of, still she, runs away from her feelings. No, no, end. no. She doesn't run away from her feelings. She's addressed her feelings and said that they're going to get married. But the thing is, she leaves because we'll get there. We'll get. We'll get there. We're skipping an episode. She wants here. to face her yada yada. Yeah. Uh, bridge scene. One of my favorite scenes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the I'm happy I'm alive because of you, Ryan. Whoa! <laughs> I was not fucking prepared for that. Uh, attempted murder, fucking proposes. No, nope, uh, you forgot. Attempted murder, attempted suicide. Oh no, that's after. Oh, it's oh yeah, no, it's proposal. Proposes, then attempted suicide. Uh, jumps off. By the, the way, fucking this sounds bridge. really bad, but it's actually very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Taiga pushes him off, right? Goes down, and then he's like, "Hey, you trying to kill me?" Yada yada, off. and then. Ryuji's like, oh, marry me, yada yada. And then Tiger's like, hold on, hold just a second. Jumps, Jumps off the, the bridge, can't onto swim, the time. but whatever. Or onto Ryuji. Um, yeah. Well, there's not that much water. Swim. He's literally sitting down in the water. Yeah, and he's true. covering his butt. Yeah, true. That's, That's it. That is fair. How did you break his legs? How did he not break his butt? <laughs> <laughs> or, or his head, because she pushed him backwards. That's true. I appreciate like he landed on his back. Yeah, that's a fucking flat. That's a broken back. Broken, yeah, broken back. Has you walking to Kawashima's place. Also, God. having someone land on top of you, even if they weigh like 60 pounds. That's 60 pounds heard, uh, flying down at Ever you. heard E equals MC squared? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's fucking... You might as well have just gotten drop kicked by somebody, like, down a cliff. <laughs> After God. this, we get to Amy's house. Yep. Oh my gosh, Amy's like, hey... Tell me you love her. Tell me so she can finally feel rejected and stop pining after him. Man, this is the. the I, I feel so bad for Amy, man. Oh my god. As and much then, as like she's an asshole, I mm-hmm. also love the fuck out of her character. Then it's she's like great. It's time for all the characters to be saints. It's time for Minorin to give away her life her savings. Her life savings. And Kidamura's like, I have rice vouchers. I have rice. No, you forgot one more. Kaoshima's like, I have literally the key to my beach house. Which is probably worth a million dollars more. Yeah. And meanwhile, it's like, I have <laughs> rice vouchers. And they put it on the same pedestal. Same pedestal. They're like, yeah, they're all doing it. Yep. He actually ends it. 
You know, save the best for last. The rice vouchers. Hey, gay shit. Dude, Only you know some rice balls, bud. You know, Taiga was happy about that one. And so she loves to eat that. And then, then we also get the so fucking um, heart has a nosebleed fucking line. And I was the entire time I'm thinking that just that's just internal bleeding. <laughs> like that's just what internal bleeding is. In in mine, I was like, I know it's a callback. Man, it was a callback. It and did it fuck made me, me up. sad. But the entire time I'm thinking. That's that does not sound but good. What made I me also put another more sad was the assault. mom scene. I did put another count of assault uh, for Minion attacking Amy, but I don't remember that. Was it the snowball? It might have been the snowball. I would say it's the reverse I because think I of how in order. because of how uh, Amy put a rock in the snowball and threw it <laughs> <laughs> and called it her super pure innocent snowball attack, and then whips it. At uh, Kushida, and then Kushida's like, there was a rock in this, and it's like, oh, now was there? <laughs> you okay. can kill someone. One God. last episode, twenty five. I just put get played. I think that was, I think that was about the mother. <laughs> oh, that was get played. That was get played. <laughs> I think they just they just crossed up his mom. I thought that was oh yeah, because it's true. She didn't leave him yet. <laughs> Fucking go, man. But yeah, get played, get played was good. Get played was good. She uh, got absolutely. The scene with the grandparents hit me in the soul. Mm-hmm. Um, the the mom's still a kid. I didn't. The I didn't do a good enough job when the mom says that. I'm like, fuck, man. And then it's like, no, <laughs> you did a great job. Oh my! And the the parents, the grandparents, oh, saying like, you raised him well. And, and then she's she like, turned yes, out so yes, I well. did. Oh. Fucked me up. Man, uh, the practice marriage. Practice scene, marriage was my favorite so scene. cute, and then brings back Adorable. all the way to episode one. The sweet cut of its own series, literally just hits. I'm you're a tiger. No, sh- I fuck you. Fuck you. You're it. a dragon. I'm a tiger. We stand together through the ages, Whatever. the years, and it's like. Um, like we don't need vows, and then they kiss. My next line is just "fuck you, tiger." <laughs> Is it the kiss scene where, where she just <laughs> keeps insulting him? she just like takes a picture of the no, it's oh, the, it's that. the picture of the star and dips. I just like, fuck you, Tyga. <laughs> yeah, no, and she just dips, and I'm like, I'm pissed. We I get, was so, so. I'm not a huge so fan. Mad. After the practice marriage scene, which is my favorite, mm-hmm. I don't like the rest of this episode. It's, you don't like when they're holding hands in the train and yada yada? It's fine. It's cute, I guess. Cool. But it's eh. I really enjoyed this, and I was like, oh, she take a picture of star, yada yada. But she just doesn't show up for supper. And when I when I heard this, I... Because she was like, oh, I won't run any, our way anymore. And she was like, I'll change. And then it's like, Tiger didn't show up for supper that night. And I was like... Man. You could pro- I don't know if you could hear that, guys, but that's me dropping my phone on my <laughs> keyboard and crying. <laughs> like, and being so mad. I, oh I haven't God. been this mad in a while. And then in a long she time. Fucking- there's a, we have philosophical bullshit from teacher. Don't care. Don't care. Uh, Who cares? She texts him, ripping on him for not saying I love you. Yeah. When and then calls him a klutz. And I'm like, bro, you and jumped like, off a bridge. True. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last conversation between Amy and Ryuji. Can we talk about just the last that, nail in the coffin? Kushieda. Fuck Kushieda. Kushieda, straight up is like, why did you come back alone? And hits. And she says, he says. It Can wasn't you, my choice. Like, stand still for a moment. He just looks at her. Boom! <laughs> and then he get, he finally has this, like, moment. It's not my choice. If I would, I'd get her to stay. And I was like, it's so true. I mean, I'm so sad. I was so upset, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And, like, the last conversation between Amy and Ryuji where they're just, like, putting the last nail in the coffin of that fucking relationship. Yeah. Which I would have loved to see happen. I really would have. Even if it's just like four, uh, two episodes. Yeah, me too. Even if it was just like Ryuji had a fucking panic attack and she was fucking there, and then I don't care. I would have loved to see that happen. The only thing that saved this episode was the practice marriage scene and the after credit scene, which also fucked me up pretty good, actually. I like the picture. That yeah, picture was fine. Picture it seemed a bit. Good. It seemed a bit like too like oh. Good. You know, okay. let's hear your impressions of this. Blah, 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 blah. I don't fucking care. 
I, I, I wanted to fucking cry. I just realized in the I am crying. <laughs> Connor, Guys, Connor, currently you're I am okay. crying. Connor, it's okay, buddy. So that, that, you don't need to worry about that because I think it's really funny. Because in the picture, I just realized that Kitamura fell on top of Ryuji and that just saved everything in the picture. He's just falling on top of him. But holy crap. I actually was about to kill someone. <laughs> I was about to. If that if it ended like someone. that, I would have if shot somebody. If it ended somebody. at exactly Ryuji saying, I'll transcend space and time to be by your side, my feelings will never change. If it ended at if that. If it ended on that line, I would have fucking shot there, someone. I was going to be like, okay. Cole, I come understand. Over. Cole, come over. <laughs> I Cole, am I'm... literally killing someone. No, I, I, like, I can't. They never said I love you. They, 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 she left. I'm pissed. I'm so mad. And then, after credit scene, saved it. Then I'm like, saved me. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Save me from doing something I might regret. Cole's house was going to burn. <laughs> Just like that hotel <laughs> in Osaka. <laughs> Here's a callback for you, Cole. Here's a cut Here's for a you. Cut for you, Cole. <laughs> that house in Osaka, and your house is gone in flames. Oh, they're singing my brother's birthday song. Don't mind me. <laughs> We're done. Hold uh, on. Hit a no, pause. hit the pause. Hit the pause. Hit the pause. Uh, Where are we? Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. It is game oh, time. Oh, I need to bring out the. Phone. Oh, we we didn't actually say the end. The very end. So oh, the end credit man. scene saved it. You have to say this because I will with fucking, oh. with oh my gosh, Taiga in the locker, like you know, sweet throwback to where they first met, and she was in the locker. A lot of throwbacks to the beginning, which that last one kind of like out of nowhere, but I weird. But then finally says I I, I love you, just instantly, and then she's like, what. You're supposed to say that like in the right mood, yada yada. But I was like, that was the right mood. That was the right time. First the man time hasn't seen you in like what? Months? Yeah. Like, yeah. Let yeah. my man let my man. Let him have shit. this. So, final thoughts. And I'm gonna need your final score. <sighs> I give Unless you want me to go first. Toradora. Seven point six. Oh fuck you. It was good, but there's parts that pissed me off. I don't. I wasn't super about the ending. I was kind of in the mid, in, in the beginning. I was like, I really want Kitamura and Taiga to get together, and I really want Ryuga, Ryu- Ryugi, Ryu- Ryuji, Ryuji, Ryugi. <laughs> Ryugi. I wanted Ryuji and my boy or my girl Kushida, Ryugi in the blue jeans. to get together, <laughs> and then when they didn't, and you know the the what would ha- always happen, and what did happen. Which kind of made me sad because I, I like both Kitamura and Kushida, and they both kind of got shafted. Uh, I was like, this kind of ends, and it kind of sucks, but it's still good. But it wasn't, it wasn't insane. It wasn't kill a kill ending. <laughs> well, that means you're not gonna like my score. <laughs> no, I'm positive. Cole's score. He told me before this. He said I might rate Torador higher than Kill a Kill, and I was like, you're insane. But Tordor, what what extremely think? good. I already typed I it down. It really I'm crazy. not going to change it. Easy. This I is think my score. You wrote it was an 8.7. 8.4. 8.4, okay. I gave, it, I don't, I gave you too highly on that. I don't think I can go past 8.4, 8.5. That's understandable. I can go past, like, I, I couldn't go below a 7, and I couldn't go higher Absolutely. than an 8. I so I had to get, like, a nice high middle ground. But I did, I did rate it 6, higher. 7.6, 100%. I did rate it higher than Kill a Kill. Mm-hmm. Very true. Which very I true. know you're not going to like. It's it's fine. To each their own. I thought it was very cute. And I really like Tordara. If you haven't seen Tordara and Absolutely. you watched our entire podcast, sorry. Because we spoiled a lot of crazy <laughs> We moments. just gave but all of the good scenes even away. Even if you've seen it, it still hits oh, hard. I watched it's it like really two good. or three times. Like, it's good. It's it fucked really me good. up. Yeah, I can tell. Because I mean, my you- notes were... Mind you, I was already fucked up because I just finished watching Your Lie in April, and mm-hmm. then I was like, "Oh, this looks happy." Yeah, and this then is the last be episode. A depressing happened, couple weeks, and I punched a wall. <laughs> this is gonna be really depressing, guys, because we have Tordora into Your Lie in April. Are we Question doing Your Lie in April next? Hmm. We'll see. I think before we do Your Lie in April, I need time. You need. He needs time. I so need time. We'll Robert. probably throw in. The new show on Netflix, High Rise Invasion. So stay tuned for that. Cause I'll do High Rise Invasion. That's yeah. going to be pretty crazy. We'll do season one because I've actually read the manga for High Rise Invasion. 
And Ooh, look at this nerd ass over here. I read the manga. Look at me researching source material. Hey guys, when this is over, Cole might not be here for the next episode. He <laughs> might be dead. Kidding. We're gonna kill me off. We're gonna kill him off. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him off. Anyways, so we're gonna re- do high do high rise invasion. I, I read I'm it down. and it, the show Netflix show is only like half ish, like less than half we'll of do, the actual we'll do like a season show. one review. The manga, at least. They'll probably add more episodes. They'll definitely... They, they, if they don't, then whatever. But we'll end up probably using it, like, way into the future. Whenever they make a new season, then we'll do... The next season, we'll yeah, talk we'll, about we, the we'll, first season, the second re- season, yada yada. We can do Redux reviews. It's fine. Absolutely. All right. Now, sayonara, everybody. Check out oh, Toradora. Oh, God. He said it in Japanese. Look at this first. He's the weeb part of anime. Japanese? Anim. Sayonara? Yeah. Aloha, everybody. <laughs> That's hello. That's also goodbye. Is it actually? Yeah. Was that Hawaiian? Fuck. Okay, goodbye. Peace.